Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you can. And I hope my voice is coming good and clear. And let me know if you have any problem. Before we start, I hope that we will, all of us, we will have a good discussion today. And the Muslims and Christians and Jews, Hindus, whoever you are, you will speak a nice language and no bad words will be used. Otherwise, we have to block you. Uh, first of all, here, we are not against Muslims. We are against lies. We fight lies. We are not fighting people. Muhammad in the Bible. It's something we hear always from Muslims. And Muslims, they, uh, you know, they have tons of articles it's speaking about what it's called prophet of Allah in the Bible. Muhammad S.A.W. This is uh, Ahmadiyya website. Ahmadiyya, they are very specialist in attacking uh, Christianity. Uh, and the reason I will explain why Ahmadiyya, they do that, uh, because Ahmadiyya, they cannot, uh, let us say, they are minority between the Muslims and many Muslims don't even consider them as Muslims. So Ahmadiyya, they cannot debate other Muslims about Islam. Uh, because the nature of the violence of this cult so they only concentrate in debating Christians and because of that they concentrate in the Bible they don't dare to debate someone he is a Sunni Muslim or a Shia Muslim so they take a hide and they say okay we will debate the one who will not use violence against us if we debate them and those are the Christians and Ahmadiyya or non Ahmadiyya it doesn't matter really all of the Muslims they share the same thing they share one lie. First of all, Muhammad is a prophet. So when you say to me that Muhammad was a prophesy in the pro in, uh, as in the in the Bible, shouldn't be first Muhammad to be a prophet? I mean, how you can prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet? And then you will see articles saying to you, uh, like uh, like as an example, chapter eighteen, verse number seventeen and verse number nineteen. Uh, but the verse is so clear uh, this is cannot be about Muhammad because Muhammad is not from the brothers of Moses even the Quran says we never send a messenger unless he is from the people speaking the tongue of the people if we go to the yellow pages of Islam which is called the Quran we will find the following <coughs> Chapter 14, verse number 4. We sent not a messenger except to teach in the tongue of his own people in order to make things clear to them. This verse alone destroy everything the Muslim they stand for, saying Muhammad is a prophet for the world. Because this will be a contradiction. Allah never sent a messenger except speaking the tongue of the people and he is from the people so when Moses speak about the, uh, uh, a person from between them the brothers is Muhammad from between the Jews is he from the Jews is he a Jew do Muhammad speak the language of the Jew so the Quran itself proved that this is a false argument but the most funny thing about this argument is Muhammad is not a prophet to be considered anywhere in any book. I mean, look at this prophet. He prophesy how the baby is made and he say crazy stuff. I mean, what kind of a prophet? His God told him how the baby is made. And it's really funny how the baby is made according to the Quran. What kind of God? He says women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace and their ribs. What kind of God? He says that the ice is coming from mountains in heavens. What kind of God? He says that the thunder is an, is an angel. What kind of God? He did not know which one he created first, the stars or the earth, and he contradict himself. So in order to consider Muhammad in any book, we have to see first if Muhammad is a prophet or not. Secondly, just to show you the, 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 the madness, how far it goes and the bankruptcy. The Muslim, they say to you even like, 
Do you know that the book of Isaiah chapter 29 speaking about illiterate person who delivered to him a book? Okay, is that about your prophet? They say yes, this is about Muhammad. Muhammad was illiterate, but Abdul, this one about the hypocrite, the liars, the bad ones. I mean, how bankrupt they are. Don't you see it says, wherefore the Lord said, speaking about who? Those who draw their mouth, they draw their mouth near me with their mouth, with their lips, they honor me, but they have removed their heart far from me. So he's speaking about the hypocrite, the bad ones, the liars. They say we are close to the Lord. They praise the Lord by their mouth, but in their heart they don't have him. So you are saying your prophet is this one? I mean, do you see how much the bankruptcy does? Because they are bankrupt. They try their best to find Muhammad somewhere. We need to find him somewhere. I mean, come on, we cannot find, we cannot prove Muhammad is a, is a, is a prophet from the Quran. So we have, a, we have to find him anyhow, anywhere. But this verse about the liars, about the bad ones, about the enemy of God, how even you are insulting your prophet, but because they are ignorant, they just want this. They found the word not learned. That's it. Muhammad is not learned. Secondly, as long Muhammad is not learned, how somebody is not learned is going to teach me. Have you ever heard, with my respect to blind people, imagine you are a blind man and you are going to teach me how to drive. How somebody is not learned is going to teach us. So by stating that Muhammad is not learned, you just state that Muhammad is ignorant. This is what not learned mean. So you are bringing to me a person who is ignorant and you are saying to me, this ignorant is going to give you PhD. But uh, brother, this uh, person is ignorant you are the one who is saying, saying he is ignorant. What does it mean that Muhammad is illiterate? It's mean ignorant. Illiteracy mean being ignorant. So you have a prophet, you Muslims, you call him the ignorant, and you want me to learn from him. Uh, we have a Muslim saying, uh, the Muslim, they have a big sacrifice. Let me put this uh, comment in the screen so we can laugh together. His name is Tariq. He's saying to me, the Muslims have a big sacrifice at the end of Ramadan and call it Eid al-Adha. How do you confuse Eid al-Adha with Eid al-Fatr? My friend, both Eid you have, they are al-Adha because you do Adha. Adha means sacrifice. That is your ignorance. And if you want, you can call me right now in Skype so we can laugh together about the ignorance of the Muslims who do not know even their occasion. Don't you Muslims slaughter millions of sheep and camels and uh, goats, whatever, at the end of Ramadan? That is Adha. So you are the ignorant, not me. You have Adha after Ramadan and you have Adha after the Fatr. But because you are ignorant, you thought that Adha is a word have to do with the holiday. Adha is an act of slaughtering. And here, as long as you mention this, I want to ask you why you are slaughtering. Why you are slaughtering at the end of Ramadan and why you are slaughtering at the end of the, what you call it, Al-Adha. Both of them are Adha. <laughs> Adha is coming from the word Baha, which means sacrifice. So as long you are sacrificing at the end of Ramadan and you are sacrificing at the end of Fatr. So which one of them is Adha? Both. Because in both you do sacrifice. And now if we ask the Abdul, why you sacrifice? They will say, uh, because uh, Abraham sacrificed. No, Abraham, he did not. In your book, it says that Abraham did not sacrifice anything. 
So are you there, Mr. Tarek, to call me so we can laugh together? Now Tarek, he will go into nap, he will take a sleep, and he will not post no text no more. Mayday, Mayday, Mr. Tarek, are you willing to call me? Hello? Mr. Tarek now is going to make coffee. Or now, no, no, it's time for a prayer. Just watch. It is time to pray. You have to go now. Mr. Tarek, are you willing to give me your Skype so I can call you? Hello? 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 Okay, Tarek is taking vacation now. <laughs> the confuse is you. If you ask any Muslim right now, why you are sacrificing at the Eid? No, my friend, you are an ignorant. You do sacrifice is not a name. Sacrifice is an act. Is that true? Do you sacrifice at the end of Ramadan? Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Do you sacrifice at the end of Ramadan? Yes or no. You say yes or no, who care? I can right now go to Google and people will see that at the end of Ramadan, Muslim they slaughter millions of animals. Is that true, Mr. Tarek? So you celebrate Adha at the end of Fatr and you celebrate Adha at the end of Ramadan. For Adha is an act of slaughtering, is not a name. In both you slaughter. Are you there? Anyway, he's trying to change our topic. We gave him a chance to call me, but obviously he's scared. He's terrified. Maybe he need to ask Mama if he if she allowed him to call me. So as you see, the Muslim they say that their prophet is. Uh, this is your Skype. Okay, let me call you. Hold on, give me a second, please. Mr. Tarek, he gave us his Skype. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right, we are loading Skype. Uh, I could not find you, Mr. Tarek. Are you sure from the name? You see, I searched for your name. Let me show you. I will go to Skype. And I will search for your name. Where is your name? I cannot find it. Give me a real name, my friend. I'm waiting for you. Well, we search for this name. There is no such a name exist. And any one of you can search for it too. Anyone was able to find that name in Skype? Yeah, I know he gave his ID, but I cannot find him. There is no such a name in, in Skype. See, I searched. All right. And it says there is no name. I cannot find it. Here we go. This is your name. I click OK again. Enter. You see, there is no name. Maybe he's playing a kid. Uh, maybe uh, like a funny game. Anyone was able to find him? 
anyone was able to find him in Skype? If the admins can try, we have a Muslim, I think. Hold on. Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Are you a Muslim? Hello. Yes, I hear you. You can hear me? I do hear you. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yes, I am. All right. What do you like to say to us? Well, um, first of all, do you remember me? Uh, no, I don't remember you. Should I? Uh, you should, because you know I was the one who called you and tried to give you a 10-word quiz. Ah, 10-word quiz. Ah, you are the quiz guy. Yeah. But all the Muslims, they give me a quiz. Which quiz of them? Uh, the 10-word quiz in Arabic. Ah, uh, you want to give me 10 quiz? Okay, do you like to give it to me or to your Prophet Muhammad? Because as I learned, you're a prophet, as I learned, now? hold on, as you as I learned, as you no, see, no, no. we are talking about the prophet who is, it, hold on, as you see, no, we are talking about Muhammad being unlearned, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, it's a simple yes why, or no why, why you are giving me a quiz, um, but you are following okay, a prophet, you do not no, know how to write, how no, to read. Right? Why you don't give your no. why you don't give your prophet the, yes the same no, quiz? That's all you okay, have to, you know, answer, okay. But... Listen, listen, listen. I agree. No, agree I agree to give you the quiz. You are you do. saying to me I don't speak Arabic? You're going to listen. To are you me. saying I don't speak you Arabic? Are you saying I don't speak not. Arabic? No, no, I want to know what is the purpose of this quiz. Are you trying I don't speak Arabic? Uh, excuse me. Are you trying to say I don't speak Arabic? No, I'm not trying to say that. So you what this quiz for? What this quiz for? Uh, the quiz is uh, to test you whether you know, you know, a uh, classical Arabic. I don't know, uh, my friend. The, I am, the, I am ignorant the, like your. I am ignorant like your prophet. Are you happy now? So, what do you want to say to me? How you can prove to me that you are following a prophet of God, yet you say that he is ignorant? You do not know how to write, how to read. Uh, nobody said he was ignorant. We well, say that he was unlettered. He, that means. What does that mean? We don't. Uh, that means he doesn't know how to write or read. Well, uh, hold on. That's mean your Allah and the Quran did lie. What do you mean? Okay, isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad was ignorant? No, it, it doesn't say that. It says Ummiyin. Okay, what Ummiyin mean? It means uh, unlettered. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, that's you see, one of the words. You see, you are the one yeah. who said that you have Jack knowledge. Okay, but everybody, ignorant. hold on, everybody will be laughing at you in a second. Al yeah, Ummiyin sure. have nothing to do with being illiterate. That because you yourself, you are illiterate. If we go in the Quran right now, and as long as you are asking me to read the classic Arabic, I'll read it for you first in Arabic, and then we go to the to the translation. Amani. What I just said, translate. Yes, illa amani. Yes. What I translated. Mm -hmm. What I said, translate, please. Uh, uh, well, I, I heard the last one except uh, amani. Uh, they're wishful thinking. Mm. Uh, but you know, I'm not the one. No, 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 no. Just Quran. wait, just wait. You just said to me that your prophet, he is ummi. But the Quran saying that the word is ummi is the one who is ignorant in the book. Yes or no? Unlettered in the book. Thank you. So he is not, he is not illiterate then. He is illiterate in the book, correct? Yes. He okay. doesn't know how to read or write in the book. Okay. So he does not know the scriptures. Is that correct? How, no. He doesn't know how to read or write in the book. My friend, it says, Which kitab? Yes. What the word kitab mean? Know, doesn't what? know how to read or write in the book. Hmm. And... Uh, which book? Which book? Uh, which book? Uh, which 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 not which know book? The book? Which book? Well, uh, which, which book? And which know which book? Which book? Which book? Which book? Which book? Okay, Muhammad, you do not know what is in the book. Which book? Uh, could you what? Could you repeat that that verse again? My friend, so you were answering me all this time, and now you are asking me to repeat it again. I'm asking you, which book he did not know how to read? It says, 
أميون لا يعلمون الكتاب لا يعلمون الكتاب there's a certain book which book الكتاب not كتاب الكتاب which mean a certain book which is which which book is that book which they do not know it it's not talk it's not talking about the uh, uh, prop Muhammad mm. which verse is that women okay uh, okay <laughs> it doesn't matter you are the one who said to me that yeah, the word exactly. um, me listen listen are you the one who said to me you are the one hold on we, we cannot talk in the same time you are the one you are the one who said to me you are the one who said to me the word um, me the word um, me okay let me get you busted okay let me let me get you busted hold on let me get you busted in, the, in the front of everybody okay okay hold on hold on which verse is speaking about your prophet? Let's, let us uh, 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 let us go to uh, to business right away. Which your verse in the Quran says that the prophet remember, is Ummi? Which I don't remember which. Okay, say, I will, say, I will remind. And there, and there, okay. Okay. I don't I, remember uh, which. Shall I help you? Shall I help you? Is that okay? Do you want me to help you? Okay. Sure. Mm. So, if we go here. We will find chapter 62, verse number 2. It says the following. Huwa alladhi ba'atha bayna al-ummiyina rasoolan minhum. Translate. Uh, which one is that? It looks like you know very much your book. No, uh, well, mm. no, <laughs> not really. I just said, everybody, lot, everybody heard me. You look like you are very nervous. I just said, Chapter 62, verse number 2. And you said to me, which one is that? Is that because you are nervous. You are not listening. Chapter 62, okay. verse number 2. Mm. Okay. He who um, was raised in Umiyin. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm. So what? Mm. He is one of them, right? He is he is Umiyin. He is from the Umiyin yeah. too, correct? Umiyin, yes. Okay. So he was Does that mean that Muhammad know okay. how to read or write? Okay, so the one so you are saying to me that Muhammad was sent only to those who do not know how to write, how to read. Because the verse saying he was sent no. from amongst the elders. That yeah, is not what it says. That's what it says. Everybody, this is your translation. This is your translation. He is from the yes. illiterate. And he is one of them. The unlettered people. He rose. You uh -huh. know, he he uh, raised uh, a messenger. Okay, but he is so he is one of them. All of them they do not know how to write, how to read. Um, it says among the unlettered. Yes, that mean that all of them. All my of friend, my friend. He sent them from between the Ummiyin. Don't tell me now you don't speak yeah. Arabic. Don't play games. So the verse saying clearly that Muhammad was sent from a people who they are illiterate, and he is one of yes, them, correct? From people, uh, from people that were Ill illiterate. Okay, illiterate. Yeah, illiterate. Yeah, illiterate. Okay. Illiterate. What kind of religion believe that everybody in Mecca was illiterate? No, it doesn't say that. It says that. It says he was sent from among them. Among who? Those who they are yes. unlearned. Those who were unlettered. <laughs> it doesn't say all of them were unlettered. No, Please. it says that. It says that. It says that. And, sick, it, it, and, and, and let me show you how the how how the hypocrisy work. Then if if not everyone is illiterate, even though it says the word ummiyin, so how you assume yourself that Muhammad himself is illiterate himself? Repeat that. I, 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 I didn't get Focus, that. focus. As long as the word is used here is Ummiyin for all of them. And when we say Ummiyin, you say to me, and not everyone is uh, Ummi. Some is Ummi, some is not. So how you assume that Muhammad is the one from the sum who cannot read? Because that verse is talking about him. Okay, but it's talking about him as what? As among those who are unlettered thank you very much but the verse saying he was sent to them those who they are unlearned illiterate thank you so you are saying to me that muhammad is an ignorant was sent yes. to the ignorant only muhammad is not sent for those who know no, it doesn't he was, say he was sent to the ignorant only he was it says he was sent to the unlettered. Okay, so Not the, un the unliterate, the unliterate mean ignorant, correct? The unliterate is ignorant, correct? 
No, unlettered is someone doesn't know how to read or write. Okay, if somebody who do not know how to read, how to write, is he uh, ignorant or not? Uh, not really. Do you? Uh, not necessarily. Really? So why the Quran yes. calling him illiterate? <laughs> then, <laughs> because he... my friend, my friend. Okay, let me show you how much ignorant you are. You are the illiterate, not not your prophet only. Let us see. First of all, in the same chapter, chapter 62, verse number 5, it says that the same those who carry a book is the same as someone he is a donkey. Do you agree with this verse? Um, if that's what it says, sure. Okay, so you're a prophet. You just said he did not know how to read, how to write, but he carried the Torah. So you are saying your prophet is the same as a donkey. Uh, repeat that. Okay, you are very slow. You admit it and you agreed that the one who carry a book, he cannot read it. He is the same as an ignorant donkey. And the Quran says that. And then I said to you, well, you're a prophet. He do not know how to read the book, but he carried the book. So he is the same as the Quran described as a donkey. Book? Who said who carried the book? The Quran says that. No, the Quran doesn't say Muhammad carried the book. Anyone, anyone who carried the book, who cannot read it, he cannot understand it, he is the same as a donkey. Read the verse. But Muhammad did not carry any book. <laughs> Didn't he carry the Quran? <laughs> Uh, no, he did not. Carry so what the he Quran. was carrying? Was he was carrying book Buddha book. Anymore. So when Allah was giving him verses, this is the book or this is not the book? Uh, yes, that is the book. Okay, but, so know, he was carrying a book. So the your prophet book. was carrying a book, and even Aisha, and even Aisha, she <laughs> said that. The, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was Muhammad, my friend? Hold on. Okay, was Muhammad? He never had a physical book in his hand. Never, never. Um, I don't think so. Hmm. What about the Torah? He never, he never, uh, he I never, don't think he it? never carried a book. I, I told you that. Hmm. Okay, let us see. But okay, you know what? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? No, 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 no. Rest. Uh, uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will show you your prophet. He is holding the Torah, taking an oath in the Torah. Do you know that or not? He was what? He hold the Torah. And he swear uh -huh. by the Torah, yes or no? Uh, yeah, I think there was a, a hut, there is a hadith hmm. that says, uh, he wasn't holding it, but he was pointing at it. Okay, he put, did he put his hand on it? But you know, it doesn't matter. Okay, oh, but, oh, why does this but matter? How, how somebody how you just say it, you just say it, okay, topic. okay, you just say it, you just say it. The one who do not know, he have a book, and he cannot read it. And you agree with the Quran is the same as a donkey carrying the book, but he do not understand it. He cannot read it. Your prophet is taking oath. Uh, he put his hand. I, read with me. I read with me. You are a prophet. You are a prophet, my friend. You are a prophet. You are a prophet. He asked for the Torah. They place the Torah in the front of him. He carry it. He put it in the cushion, and then he put his hand on it, and he said. I swear by the one who revealed thee and I believe in thee now the question for you How you swear in a book you cannot read and you say I believe in thee maybe they give him yellow pages Maybe it's not the Torah uh, Well, he had people you know, he had people that could read for him my friend you just told me that the prophet do not know and he was sent from between those who do not know suddenly now everybody knows he is sitting between the Jews the Jews he they gave him the Torah according to the story here and he put his hand mm -hmm. in it and he took an oath in it so how he swear by the Torah if he cannot read the Torah how he say I believe in thee without knowing what is inside thee It says, okay, I believed in thee and in, I, okay. Okay. See them with the cushion from beneath and, hmm. and place a to Torah on it. I believe in thee and in him who revealed thee. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Don't so? you think this is stupid behavior to say to give you a book you do not know how to read it and you say I believe in thee and the one who sent thee? Maybe they give me a big a book of Mickey Mouse. How do I know what book they gave me? Uh, he had you know companions around him that could read. Mm, so you're a prophet. He is dependent on the companion. Yet he say I believe in thee, but he did not even read thee. They just gave him a book in the front of him. He did not read anything. And nobody read for him. He just put it there and he placed it and he said, I believe in thee, which means from cover to cover. And now it doesn't say from cover to cover. Oh, when you say I believe in thee, it's mean I believe in thee. The what? The, the Torah. The <laughs> what? The what? The Torah. So yes, the Torah which they placed. The Torah, the Torah which they placed. The Torah which they placed. Okay, which Torah? Which Torah? Which Torah? Hold on. Which Torah? Be the whole book. Oh, oh, yes, the whole book. Yes, the Torah. The Torah is the Torah. Okay, hold on, hold on. They place a book in the front of him in the cushion. Correct. Uh-huh. Okay. He said, I believe in thee, which means whatever that book is saying, he believe in thee, correct? Uh-huh. Okay. And then, uh, <laughs> that's me. Uh, that's me. Uh, Muhammad is a false prophet because Muhammad and you Muslim don't agree with the Torah. This is the Torah of the Jews, which don't agree with Islam. So how you Muslims, you agree with it? How Muhammad agree with uh, how he say, I believe in thee? What's the grade of that hadith? Could you tell me? What the grade? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe the if? Yeah, so if, it, if it's daif, then no, it's not daif. It's not daif. Bad news for it, you. <laughs> it's weak. You can't use it. It's not daif. It's not daif. Bad news for you. What is it? Listen. Is it it is Sahih. Yes, this is Abu Sunan of Abi Dawood, and th this is one of the books of Sahih Sita, six books of authentic, and this is Abi Dawood. So don't play the game. Just because it's from uh, Sunan Abu Dawood doesn't mean it's it's authentic. Okay, so you are just so you are saying to me, okay, let me good. ask you. That will lead us to something that Islam is not authentic religion. We cannot depend on Islam resource because Islam is full of lies. Is that is that what you are saying? There are lies. Yes, okay, who is the one know. who made the lies? Who is the we, one who made the lies? The Muslims? Um, not the Muslims. Who who is who is the one who wrote this hadith? Uh, what? Who is the one who wrote this hadith? Is he a Muslim? Is he Hindu? Is he a Christian? Who is the one who wrote this hadith? I don't know. Read the um, the, the, the what do you call it? Abu da Abu Dawood is a Muslim or he's a Christian? Yes, Abu Dawood was mm. a Muslim. Mm. And why he write it if it's a lie? Uh it's not a lie. It's only a lie if it's you know <laughs> a second ago you, know, you were trying to play the game, it's a lie. So it's a lie or it's no. a lie. Is it a lie or it's not a lie? Well, there's a gray side of that. Ah, That's there is a gray. Islam is a gray. Islam is like a transgender. It's not so so. It's not male. It's not female. When they want, they they believe in something. When they want, they play the game of this is not very much sure of that story. So listen, you are trying to play a game, and we will play it with you. Let us play this game, me and you. You said you call me to give me a quiz. I'm giving you the quiz now. How you as a Muslim, you will know that this story is accurate or not. Look at the chains. Okay, in the chain it says Hassan. Okay, so it's Hassan. Thank it's you very authentic. much. So you cannot so say that means, that means know, it's authentic. It's not authentic. It is authentic. Hassan, it's do you good. know what Hassan means? Do you speak Arabic? What? What Hassan mean? It means good. Good. Thank you very much. The hadith, guys, is good. He is saying it's not authentic, even though it says they're good. According yes. to him, it's not good. <laughs> You're confusing your audience. We have you know, grades here. My friend, yes, the grade is good. The grade, the grade is good. The grade is good. You just said that. So the grade is good, but the hadith is bad? No, no. So that's if not you what go I to said. if you go to a quiz, if the teacher he give you a quiz and then he give you the grade of good, that's mean you fail or you pass. You pass. You pass. So so you. so stop playing games. This exactly. hadith pass. This no. hadith pass. It is good and it's not dahif and it's, it's not rejected and it's not no. maktua. And it's not marfua. And it's not clean. So listen, 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 listen. Now, do your prophet in you the book or not? Well, what 
what the, the, the prophet do your prophet knew the book or not the Torah uh, of course he knew the book how he knew he it did not know how to read how he knew it right how he knew it book. how he knew it what how uh, he of knew course, it. God told, told told him okay told him God what? who revealed to him told him what what told him what okay show me where okay show me in the Quran the Torah if Allah told him the Torah, then the Torah should be in the Quran too. What is the Torah in the Quran? The whole Quran is the Torah. The whole Quran the whole is the Quran Torah. Is Why? Is the okay. Angel. Okay. The whole Quran the, the, is the, all the okay. Hold on. 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 Okay. Okay. The, guys, the whole Quran is a Torah. The whole Quran is a Torah. Hmm. Uh, that's mean. That's that's mean. Muhammad is a liar because Muhammad he says he did not bring the Torah. He is confirming the Torah. Yes, confirming the Torah. So yes, how he confirm it, but yet he do not have it. It says confirming what is with them, not is with him. Uh, it says, but uh, the sim. Where where does it say that? Mm -hmm. You do not know. Chapter two, verse number eighty nine. Uh, by the way, why does this matter? We're not talking about the topic. No, we, this is the topic that we are talking about Muhammad in the Bible And now we find that Muhammad is ignorant in the Bible. He is ignorant in Islam He cannot even read or write and he is ignorant like you now don't change the topic You are you are in the corner how Muhammad do no, not know how Muhammad do not know how to read how to write Listen, listen, listen how Muhammad do not know how to read how to write he is confirming what is with them Uh, okay, when they're and where they're and when they're confirming, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cough, cough, yeah, cough. That, no. will <coughs> that will help, brother. Don't forget to say Alhamdulillah. So, so <laughs> confirming what is with them, yes. yes. How he confirm what, what is, is with them if he do not know what to, how to read what is with them. He doesn't have to read. What do you mean? Know, you know it is he who comes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He do not need to read, but he confirm what is with them. How stupid is that? I mean, you give me a book, you say I do not know how to read it. I'm going to confirm it that this is a true. I mean, this is a crazy. How he confirm a book? He cannot read it. This is how. Let me tell you. Uh huh. Tell me how. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Confirming doesn't that. Uh, when he was going to confirm it, mm -hmm. it, it means that uh, whatever uh, the Quran says, if the Bible or the Old Testament or the Old, the New Testament that they have with them, if those agree with the Quran, that means the Quran is, the verse is saying? confirming. Is it, all that. of this is coming in this verse. All, all what you just said to me in this verse, no, it says, and when there come to them the book from Allah confirming what is with them, not with the agree with what agree with the where will you get this from? Yeah, confirming whatever the Quran, uh, whatever, whatever <laughs> the, the Bible agrees with the Quran, you know, that is with them, my friend. The book so, is saying the so verse in the front Quran of you, the, ver the verse in the front of them. you is not saying the Bible agree with the Quran, it's saying the opposite, it's saying the Quran agree with the Bible, which means whatever is there, he is confirming it's the opposite. So, whatever is there, he is confirming it. So Muhammad did not know how no, to read, no, no, how no, to no. write. Not, not whatever is there, it, it, uh, the Quran is confirming. Hmm. Confirming hmm. what? Confirming by repeating what should be in that where, book. Where do you get this from by repeating? Where do you get this from? By that verse. Where it says that? It's just confirming, confirming what is with them. Confirming what is that what what is with them. Okay, so when I say I confirm what is you with you, okay. Something? What is with the See, Jews? If, okay, let me ask you. I repeat it, something so, so, uh, that okay. is from another okay. book. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Do the Quran agree with the book of the Christian and the book of the Jews? What? Do the Quran agree with the book of the Christians and the book of the Jews? Uh, some of the parts like what some parts like yes. what like what what like uh, there is only one God 
Mm -hmm. The Quran says there's only one God. Yes, it uh, does. As I know, the Quran says there's many gods. No, it doesn't. Okay. The Bible. Let me ask you. Does. Okay, hold on. Hold on. The Bible says there's many gods. Show me a verse. I I I don't. I can't get it from the top of my head. Okay, let me show you my verse up. then. You cannot show me your verse. You are lying. I can show you my verse. Here we go. Chapter 37, verse number 125 says that Again, Allah, we're not Allah, talking Allah, about the Allah, topic Allah and Baal, both of them, they are the creators. Do you agree with that? We're not talking about the. So why the Allah? Topic. If Allah is the only God, how Baal is a creator in the Quran? Uh, see, it says creator mm. not god creators well god is a creator who is the only cre do we have many creators or we have only cre in christianity we have only one creator in christianity we have only one creator in islam you have many in islam in islam you have one creator or many creators we have many creators really who who named them for me but i'll start with back Who's next? Uh, let's start with the TV. Okay, if uh -huh. you watch TV, you can uh -huh. say. Ah, uh, no, no my friend, here. my friend. No, 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 no. Stop, stop lying. In the religion, mean when we say creator is the one who give life. Do you agree? Uh, no. Okay, let me shut you up. Then the Quran will shut you up, not me. The Quran says that, not me. So you just said the Quran is a lie. Thank you very much. Here we go. What this is the Quran. Hold up. When when masters they speak, kids they, they they shut up. You just said no. You are accusing your God that He is a liar. Chapter twenty two, verse number thirty seven. Read the verse for me. Uh, show it to me. Chapter it's in the screen. <laughs> cough, cough, yeah, cough. That will help. <clears throat> What I can't help it. I know. Does okay. it say that the one who is creating a fly is worthy of worship? And that is the creator. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh man. He, so why you are okay. lying saying the creating a TV? Creating a TV is making a TV, not a creating. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about making the TV. You need to watch it. I mean, it. You can. Uh, there are. Ads coming, uh, uh coming. Uh, there are ads on the TV that's uh, that goes like you know from the creators of this movie. Say creators. So when we when we say Allah is a creator, that means he is a producer in Hollywood. <laughs> no, that's one of the that's one of the creator. But Allah cannot Allah, make any movie. One of the meaning. But Allah cannot make any movie. Allah cannot make a movie. Prove it. Can he make a movie? Of course, he can create a movie. Like what? Like what? Which movie? Uh, the one about the flying carpet of Solomon. The one about the flying carpet of Solomon. God never did create a movie. Okay, so what? What does have to do with what we are talking about? The Creator. When Allah He says He is the best of the Creator, He is comparing Himself to a movie creators, or He is comparing Himself to, to real all creators. The creators. Huh? To all the creators. Okay, Allah is the best of the creators, correct? Yes. Okay, let me ask you. Do you compare yourself to a donkey? No. Okay, why? Why would I compare myself to a donkey? Give me the reason. Give me the scientific reason. Because donkey is not a human, correct? We compare a human, compare himself to a human, correct? We should compare uh... donkey to donkey. Human to human, monkey to monkey. Not always. Okay. Not always. So Can't are you saying to me? Okay. Let us say. Let us say a donkey. A donkey. He, okay. Let us say a donkey. He made something in his mouth and he played volleyball with it. Is that will make the donkey creator like Allah? Uh, what did you say again? I'm sorry. Let us say this animal, the donkey. He created something, you know, he put something, some grass in his mouth and he make it like a ball and then he started, start playing with it, which has looked like a ball. So now he created a ball. Is he creator like Allah now? Of course not, but that is. Okay, so know, Allah what? compared himself to who? Do he compare himself to someone is no one or he compares to himself to someone he is a creator like him? He is comparing himself to 
any creator that who is a creator beside Allah? You just say it. He is comparing himself to any creators. That means there's many creators. Yes, there are. I just told you the creators of movies. When you just said movie is not you know, what, what the creator of movie. My, my friend, you are fooling who here is speaking about Baal. Baal is the one who people believe that he is the one who fertilized the, the women. He gave her babies. So Baal is a creator. Allah is a creator, but Allah is the no, best of the creators. No, it doesn't say Baal was the creator. It says that. Because when you no, say, when you say, no, 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 listen, listen. Okay, when you say, when you say, why you are calling, listen, 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 listen. Okay, okay, hold, hold on, hold on. It says, why you are praying for Baal, right? When Allah is the best of the creators, which means Baal is a creator, but Allah is better. No, it doesn't, doesn't mean that. Mm, it doesn't mean, mean what? That. Okay, let me ask you: If there is anyone he created creatures beside Allah? Uh, creation, no creatures, no. no. But there are creators of other things. Mm, are you sure from that? Uh huh. Are you sure? I just, I just told you, you know, creators okay. of so movies. The one who created a living being is he God? Yes. Okay. That is Jesus, my friend. The Quran says that Jesus created from the bird, from the mud, a bird. Okay. Where that means Jesus that? is a God, according to what you just said. You said a human being. My friend Jesus created a being. A crea no, a being, a being. I said a being with blood or flesh. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, a okay. living being. Mm -hmm. Being. So he created a being, a creation, a living being. So Jesus, he yeah. created from the mud, the bird. How Jesus can do that? We're not talking about the topic. This is the topic. No, the topic is Prophet Muhammad was <laughs> found in the Bible. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, Muhammad was found in the Bible. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. <laughs> there we go. I don't know. I, I mean, never. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, do you want to finish that one first? My friend, finish whatever you want. You are you, you are the boss. I'm listening. I'm learning from you. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Okay. Well, mm. I think that Muhammad is mentioned in the. Uh, well, he was mentioned directly in the um in the original uh, revelations of God. Mm. In the original previous revelations of God. Right. Right. M maybe not so direct anymore because. Mm of our islamic uh, position that mm. uh the bible has been corrupted mm. so is the bible but corrupted are, is the bible corrupted uh that's the islamic position yes where, where where how you can confirm that to me oh my god so we're talking about the corruption of the bible now no but uh, you know you just mentioned that the bible is corrupt and i'm a christian i'm really concerned about that so when you say something you have to prove it the quran i just showed you actually the quran confirm what is with them what is with them how it is what is with them is confirmed and muhammad <laughs> he he took an oath in what is with them and yet it is corrupt that's mean muhammad is a fraud because if i take an oath on a book which is with them and now i'm talking about a physical book they give it to me they put it in the in, in the in the cushion i put my hand on it and i say i believe in thee and the one who sent thee and yet the islamic position that this is a book which is corrupted book that's mean muhammad is a fraud now he said he believed in the book yes the book but the, but you are saying the book is corrupted i said uh yeah the book is corrupted but, but he's he did, when he said the book it doesn't mean the whole book it means the my book friend, of god which i said he said I, you, god, okay you just said you just said book, you just said he said i believe in the book you just said that a second ago it mean so the whole book. he believed no do mean the whole book the whole book is in the front of him they did not give him a page he gave him the book he said i believe in thee he did not say i believe in this verse he did not say i believe in this line he didn't say i believe in this page he said i believe in thee and he cannot even read it the whole book he cannot read he says i believe in thee it's a very clear sign that your prophet is willing to take an oath in anything even we give him a zucchini that's it muhammad okay. is a fraud because the fraud is a bankrupt. He's trying to make the Jews believe that he's a Jew like them. So he said, I believe in thee. 
but you are saying to me the Islamic position believe that the is corrupted so Muhammad believe in the corrupted book of that of the Torah and yet he swear by it that's mean Muhammad is nothing but a fraud okay you done don't you want don't when you want, he said don't you want a cuff? when he said I believed in thee hmm. when he said I believe in thee it means he he meant the book and by book he meant the Torah and by Torah whatever that is Torah in that book he said he believed in them thank but you in, but this in, is the only, but this is the book the, the Jews have since then until now uh not quite really no we we have <laughs> we have, you know, evidence that could point okay to let me ask you let me ask you let, let me ask you let me ask you in the time of muhammad do the jews believe that there's a guy his name is Uzayah, yeah, we're is a not son of... talking about the, the, the okay title, so the... how he believe in that book he knew that the jews are the... hold on hold on how he knew that the jews believe I'm in a guy his name now. is Uzayr. He is the son of Allah, as the Quran says in chapter 9, verse number 30. Yet Muhammad, he says, I believe in thee. This is what is in the, in the book, according to Muhammad. See, that, that's why I said, he said he believed in thee. Thee means book, book means Torah. Torah means whatever that is Torah in that book. Right. And that Torah saying, according to the Quran, that Uzair is a son of Allah. <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to cough no I don't want to cough I mean, cough you need it I don't feel like coughing right now oh, okay I you might, can cough later might, you can save it for later so by the way where is yeah. uh, where is Uzair oh, is the oh, son oh, of cough Allah is coming. <laughs> <laughs> where is Uzair is son of Allah where we can find this guy Uzair in the Bible do you know uh, no I don't it's not exist it's a lie what do you think uh, mm, I, you can't say that. Would well, you have to prove it? Then show I mean, me, show me the uh, Jew. Show me one uh, Jew. Show, show me one Jewish in the whole universe believe in a guy. His name is Ozair, and he is a son of Allah. Can you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coffee. Yeah. Good. good. So coffee now. Okay. Mm. Never mind. Okay. Mm. Um. Uh, anyway, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. We have to remember that the Quran is. An eyewitness of mm. the seventh century Medina and Mecca. Mm. Eight. The Quran is an eyewitness. Yes, it, it it is an eyewitness of seventh century Medina and Mecca. But, and what, but why the Quran in that was the Quran written uh, in the seventh in century? Those places was the Quran written in the seventh century. Uh, it was not uh, written. Mm. Uh, yes, it was actually by yes, who? By who? by Muhammad's companions Muhammad companion which is their name who is the one who wrote the Quran I, I don't I don't remember you know all of their names okay I think but... it's time to cough now <laughs> listen as long as the Quran is written by the companion of the Prophet is the Quran corrupted like same as the Torah or not uh, no, the Quran is not corrupted okay. because the Quran ever, okay, the, main uh, method of transmission is not uh, is written true? in written form, but in hmm. oral. Is it oral. true? Is it true that the Jews they send a goat? She was working for the Mossad and she ate the Quran. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, so how you say to me it was not written and written by the companion, but the Prophet he have the Quran and there is pillow. <laughs> Cough, cough, yeah. Yeah, uh, say there, it again. There is Quran under the pillow of the Prophet, and the goat ate it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Why the goat ate the Quran, and Allah did not stop the goat? Why would God stop a goat from eating anything? Okay, isn't it Allah? He said He protect the Quran. Yes, it okay. doesn't mean that book that uh, the, the goat ate. Okay, but the goat ate the chapters of a breastfeeding and uh, stoning to death. Can you recite for me the chapter of a stoning uh, of uh, breastfeeding for adult ten times? Uh, no, I can't. Why? Because the goat ate it. Uh, no. Do you like to cough? No, I would not like to cough. Okay, Thank but you. then you have to give me an answer because the goat ate the verse and now we don't have the verses in the Quran. So where is the verses? No, there was no verse 
like that. What do you mean? The verse in the front of you, it says, the verse of stoning and the breast feeding for adult ten time. You're a prophet. He taught Muslim women they have to give their nipples to a stranger to suckle it ten different days until they are satisfied. And this is what the verses in the Quran. We're talking about just many different topics at one time here. What different topic? Here we go. I'm it's in the front of you. Uh, no, listen, you can cough if you want, but you have to answer. Okay, listen, now. does it say in the front of your eyes, the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding for an adult? Ten time was revealed. Does it say that or I'm making things up? Yes, it does say that. Okay, so where are they? Where man, are I'm losing interest. Can I hang up now? Where are they? Can I hang up now? Why do you want to hang up? You can cough, but continue. Okay, I'll hang up now. Why do you want to hang up? Because we're not talking about the topic. But you okay, but you just said to me the Torah is corrupt, but the fact the most corrupt book is the Quran. Even your God could not stop a little goat. It's man, man. He could not stop a goat. You can cuss if you want, but you have to answer me. Uh, why don't we just um, agree to disagree here? Oh, we agree. No, I agree to agree with you. I agree with you that Muhammad is a fraud. He's illiterate. There's no way Muhammad is a prophet of God and the proof look at those stories I mean he says to us in the Quran that Allah will protect the book not only that it says that it, it is on Allah to collect the book but the Allah did never collect the book which means proving Muhammad is a false but in the top of that we find that Allah could not even stop a little tiny goat Why would he stop a goat? I, I don't because understand this is his why would God want, my friend, to, do, my want friend. to do that? Okay, is it the, I asked you, did Allah promise to protect the book? Correct, you said yes. Correct? Uh huh, yeah. Okay, so how he did not uh, stop the goat? Um, because, you know, why would he? Tell me why would he? Because he promised to protect the book. This is his book. Uh, the the book is not a physical book. You got to understand that, man. She. What do you mean that the physical? It's a paper. You see, it's a. It, it, she did the the goat. She did eat a physical book. It's in the front of you, my friend. Mm. What not physical book? Yeah, I'm farting. <laughs> LOL. You are what farting now? That? Okay. No, that's that's Islamic. By the way, the Prophet he says if you fart, if you don't hear it and you don't smear it, you can continue praying to Allah. So what do you think? Okay. What you will do now? Hmm. See, I am losing interest. I'm making you know fart noises. Uh yeah, because because now are you showing respect to Allah because we are showing your prophet words? No, because you're not talking about the topic. Mm, so like, if somebody uh, not talking about the topic you like, usually in your family you fought it? Uh, Is that what, what your parents, they taught you? You fought if you don't like the topic? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, okay, did your prophet fart if he did not like the topic too? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, my friend, if you ever see this goat, uh, you know, mm -hmm. let us know because it's still wanted. No, we're trying to find <laughs> okay. Her. Oh, you can't might be now. dead now. Mm. So, what we will do now, as long as you don't like the topic, what we will do? Uh, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Take care, my friend. Take care. Next time, get ready before you call me. Okay, just uh, try take some medicine and some stuff so that will help you to be stronger. Eat better food. You know, change your diet. Camel urine is not helping. Take care. Who's next? <coughs> yeah. This is Islam. Hmm? This is the religion, blah, 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 protected, the Torah is corrupt, the prophet is a prophet, the prophet cannot be a prophet. First, where is the prophecy of the prophet? Uh, this guy who was calling me, he can call me back, by the way. Uh, uh, but if you want, you can call me back and show me the prophecy of the prophet. Because in order to find Muhammad in the Quran, I mean, I, uh, as a prophet, <laughs> he have to be a prophet first. <laughs> Who is the Muslim when I prove to me that Muhammad was a prophet? So we can talk about him in the Bible. 
because you are saying to me Muhammad is a prophesied in the Bible as what as a prophet but shouldn't be he first a prophet he's not we have another Muslim he wanna <coughs> speak to us <coughs> I just texted him I hope he will receive it and call us back who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us how Muhammad is a prophet what is the proof Muhammad is a prophet <coughs> Yes, hello. Yes, Mr. Ali. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. How are you? I'm fine. You are live on air and uh, we were saying Muslim they say Muhammad is in the Bible as a prophet, but shouldn't you prove to me first that he is a prophet? What do you think? Um, yes, of course, if someone claims to be a prophet, he first needs to fulfill the things that Okay, the well, how, does, how Muhammad became a prophet? Give me a reason to believe Muhammad is a prophet. Go ahead. I'm listening um, For me in my opinion a prophet is somebody who Claims he has a message from God and just he claim, convinces I mean, I people claim, with this message. And I can claim that too. I mean, if somebody just a claim, I mean, anyone can claim. There's many people they claim to be these days, even these days now, they claim to be prophets. Yes, of course, you're right. But I mean, um, the message of God is usually different from those of. Uh, I mean, if like a prophet what? says like something is usually different from that. What people what about, say, right? What about a guy? He ad ad advised the followers. The, the females to give their breast to a stranger and they should suck it ten different time. Is that from God? Um, of course, in my opinion, um, I hear um, this before that you mentioned this. I watch almost all of your videos. That's why I know most of the things that you said. Um, but for me, in my opinion, it's not. I just want to uh, mention that I'm a Shia Muslim. I'm not a Sunni Muslim. Oh, you are a Shia um, Muslim. That's even better, my friend. So let us talk about Shia. Are you well, yeah, I would like to. are you very well versed in the Shia books or you are so so? Um very well versed. Like I'm not an Arab, first of all, I'm Iranian. So you are welcome, my friend. I I like Iranian yeah. people, I respect them a lot. Welcome, yeah. welcome, my friend. So you are the Shia, yeah. right? Okay. And the books of the Shia uh, have more horrible stories than the Sunni books, uh, as an example. You know the book is called Tafsir uh, Majma uh, al Bayan. Yes, yes, I thought of it. All right. Uh, it says there that one of the messenger of Allah miracles that when he do uh, uh, excuse my language when he do pupu, the okay. earth will open and will eat his pupu. And his pee smell like perfume. Mm. Mm. Okay. What, what um, do you but think about I'm that? not quite sure. Like, in, uh, um, I tried to search for this answer, but I mean, do Shia Muslims are also things that, which is called Sahih and Raif and all this stuff? Yeah, but this is Sahih. Because, this yeah, is because their, usually this I is see, their best uh, I most of, like in the Shia Islam, it's like when we hear something from the family of the Prophet, we mm. usually accept it no matter what it says. So, mm. Um, obviously, if I hear something like this, it sounds very funny and stupid to me. Hmm. Um, okay, so how you as a Shia, you can verify for me that Muhammad was a prophet? Um, as I said before, for me, in my opinion, it's because of the message that, that he basically gave. Um, the message for like, like all mankind. Like what? That Give me one. Give me one thing. Fit to be good for all mankind. Like what? Killing each other? No. Okay, uh, but Muhammad he says other, but Muhammad he says that he have to kill all the Christians, all the Jews in the Quran. Yes or no? Um, like my opinion, it's more about in the context of this. How it, when no, he said my this, friend, the verse is so clear. Uh, read it. Uh, you know, you know how to read English. Yes, yes, I know. All right. I'm so the in chapter nine, it says verse number twenty-nine: Fight those who don't believe in Allah. As simple as that. Not those who fight you. No, fight those who don't believe in Allah from the Christian and the Jews. Until they pay the Jews, yeah. fight them, so, which means fight them to um, kill, fight to kill about those Christian and those Jews, which um, you know, uh, Allah expect them to fight the Muslims one day. Uh -huh. Okay, but like, Allah fighting, knows yeah. that these people will you see, one day the one, become stronger. It is, it is Muhammad Muslim is the one who attacked them. What the Muslim expecting them to fight them one day? I mean, this is uh, this is funny. He just said, "Fight those who don't believe in Allah, nor by Muhammad, nor by the religion of the truth, which means supposed to Islam." Until either they convert or they pay. It's a gang mentality. 
So why if I pay you, you let me live? You don't care yeah. if I believe or not. If I pay you, I can stay as a Christian. And yes. okay, I will worship Jesus as God. So why Muhammad is concerned about me paying him and I will mm -hmm. stay alive? Is that because he's a gang leader? Mm, because maybe he thought like, if some because there would be some people because they're afraid they would say yeah okay I will convert to Islam hmm. because maybe he knew that he implemented this rule because he was also a state so you are saying he is the one who implemented this rule not Allah I, yeah but it's not hard to answer for me because I think what he did was through like okay, can you read for me can you read for me the verse before it verse number twenty eight um uh, yes can you scroll a bit up it's yeah, still on twenty nine in front of you. In the first 28, yeah, verse number 28. Okay, no. Yes, hmm. yeah, oh, ye who believe truly the pagans are unclean, so let them not after this year of theirs approach the sacred mosque. And if you fear poverty, soon will Allah enrich you if He wills. How Allah is Allah is <laughs> Allah all knowing. Okay. Allah was. And if you fear poverty, you know what does that mean, right? You will get poor. Yes, okay. Yes. What is the solution? Attack the Christian and force them to pay Jesus. Yeah. Do you see it? So it was about money. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Muhammad is not ordering to do jihad for the sake of Allah. He is ordering to do jihad to steal the money of the Christian and take them as bounty and take their money so he, the Muslims, they will not be poor. So it was not a solution to spread Islam. It was a solution to enrich you. That is a gang leader, my friend. Mm -hmm. And the verse is in front of you. This is Quran. Yes, and so what does the scholar say about this? I don't care what the scholar. You can like, tell me you are a Shia. You know you can open any Shia, but it's it's, it's obvious, is it obvious? You are a smart yeah, person. You are you you know you are an adult. You can tell. Okay, here we go. Now we forbid the the the, the uh, pagans from entering the Mecca. So now no business, trade business will be gone. We kill the the Jews run away, the Christian run away, and now we will not have money. So he said, okay, don't worry, Allah will enrich you. Go attack the Christians, attack the Jews, and take their money. So it was not for God. It was for filling their belly with the chickens and cheese kebab. Okay, so um, now I have, okay, yeah, I understand your point in this, and I'm, I'm quite not sure what to answer about this. But I want to say, so why did Muhammad Mom, uh, just mention the Christian and the Jews? I mean, on the world, there were many other people, right? So Thank you. Why it's additional proof that Muhammad is a Buddhist false prophet because he's a false prophet. Around him, there's nobody except those. So, so he said, the Christian and the Jews. He never mentioned the Hindus, he never mentioned the Buddha, he never heard of them. Secondly, in different verse on the Quran, just to show you how hypocrite Muhammad is, in the beginning, because now he do not need to reach the, the Arab following him, things was fine. So he said the Christians and the Jews will go to heaven. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. How those who they will go to heaven now today, we will kill them. How that it change? Yesterday they will go to heaven. Today go and fight them and kill them and take their women and take their money. How that can, uh, can be true? Yeah, it can't be true. I mean, right? how, how this sounds now, it's like... Mm. Yeah, it, it sounds like when he was weak, obviously he wanted to say this and right. So when he became strong. So when he, he was weak, this. thank you very much. When he was weak, he was a hypocrite, and then he gets stronger. Now he do not need them. Okay, kill them all and take their money, correct? But I mean, what would be the other solution? I mean, if a prophet comes and from the beginning you know, he has a many prophet of God, my friend, a prophet of God, he stands to the truth, not to the money and the business. What solution? I mean, if God is with me, who could be against me? What will happen? I would die from hunger. Jesus died in the cross. So what is worse can be happening? He, still, he did not say, go and kill them. Still, he did not say, okay, go and kill every Jew. He's in the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. So he will go. He's in the cross. And he should be now cursing them, should be angry from them. I mean, what more is than putting nails in your, uh, in your hands, putting nails in your feet, uh, shoot, shooting you with the arrow, making you die slowly in the cross, crucify. This is what crucifixion is about, torture. They are torturing him alive. And yet he is thinking about how to save them. While Muhammad, you are saying yes. to me, it was a solution, and the solution is what to reach their belly. If they are truly believers, well, isn't it believing is about okay? Grow your goat, live in the desert as before, pray to Allah, have, live in peace. You do not need to attack the neighbors and take their women. Correct. Yes, that's correct. Okay. I understand this, but I might, but I, I struggle with this topic for a long time now. I mean, I watch almost all of the debates and. I just can't understand what I mean. 
all of my friends are Muslims, basically my family and everyone I know. I mean, in the world, there are so many Muslims who who should know all this stuff. But I mean, why? There has there, there, there has to be something why the Muslims still are not most of them are not bad people, right? I mean, if this see, is the doctrine see, of the religion, this, uh, I, if, if yeah, this is friend, the main part friend, of the religion, how is that possible? Ali, 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 I do not know you. You do not know me, correct? And I am assuming yes, you are a good person. This is not yes. about me and you, my friend. This is about belief. So, and belief will have an impact on you. So now, if Ali really believe in this, he is going to come and kill me. Belief can change you. Belief can make you either bad or good. So we have Muslims who they are Muslims by name. I, I just came from Europe. I went to Germany. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, many, many countries. And I saw how Muslim girls wearing jeans, putting makeup. I mean, they are Muslims, but Muslim by name. Muslim men wearing a bracelet and you know uh, wearing jeans and uh, they are not practicing Islam and nobody is praying and nobody listening to music blah blah blah. So Muslims are people like everybody, but not everybody knows what his religion is. The second you are a person who knows Islam very well, there's one of two things: either you will become like ISIS, or you will leave. So you want to say that uh, like 99% of the Muslims basically are not You don't know. You know nothing. You yourself, Anton, now with my respect to you, you know nothing about Islam. Yeah, mostly that's mm -hmm. true because I can't go through it. Uh, okay, so, so um, you as a Muslim, just, you grow, you, or what you know, you yeah. know a little bit about Islam. Like uh, Islam teaches you to believe in one God. There's a prophet. His name is Muhammad. We have to pray five times, blah, 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 blah. And then we as a Shia, we yeah. beat ourselves for uh, al Hussein al-Hassan. They kill them, blah, 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 yeah. blah. We cry for them. And this is madness. This is that, you know, but a human being is looking for refuge always. And he seek refuge sometime either in something smart or something stupid, like the ostrich. The ostrich is a bird. When he's when she, when this mm -hmm. bird see the uh, the fox or the wolf coming, she bury her head under the sand, thinking that he do not see her. But she is the only one don't see him. And this okay. what the Muslims do. Yes. They bury their head yes. under the sand and they say, "Okay, Muhammad is a prophet. The Christian the Christian prince is lying. He's not telling the truth, but it's in front of you." Okay, but I mean, it's simply like um, you know that the Shia, like we Shia, believe that um, the family of the Prophet, um, most of them, like twelve of them, got the like they got killed basically for spreading the Islam My friend, against the Sunni the, Muslims. The That's why of I the believe prophet, so much in the Shia Islam. Ali and Muslim. his children, they are more criminal than Muhammad himself. Ali, he burned people alive. What Ali? The Muslim, the Shia, and you know that the Shia are proud about how many people Ali killed. Correct. Yes. Okay, yes. so how do you talk about this guy? I mean, we are talking about what? We are talking about people serving God or about criminals? So we, our, our best man is a is an official butcher. He burned mm -hmm. people alive, and then we are proud about him. And not only that, the the Shia have tons of stories. Like yesterday, we were talking about the Ask Ali uh, about. Uh, uh, things nobody know a, a Christian monk. I mean, I never saw people with my respect to you I'm not trying to insult you, but mm -hmm. Shia books is amazingly crazy Just yesterday we were uh, uh, showing people what the Shia say that uh, there's a Christian monk He came to Ali and he asked him a question and he said to him uh, 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 they, I will ask you about something nobody knows except mm -hmm. one person and who is that person Ali for sure and he asked him, what is the ladybug? The ladybug, according to Ali, is a woman. She, uh, uh, I forgot she was. She was what? Uh, she did uh, witchcraft, I think, <laughs> to, to her husband. <laughs> and the bear, he was, oh. he, he was a homo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me, let me, let me put it on the screen. Hold on. Let me, let me find it again. Uh, <laughs> Let me put it in the screen so you can read with me. You don't know Arabic, right? No, I certainly don't. Yeah, okay. Uh, let us see. Uh, I will try. Here we go. Okay, I will open. Uh, I will. I will use Google Translation. Uh, because the the it's in Arabic, as you know, everything. In Arabic. We can do it in German. I, I know. German I don't know. Words. Okay. Well, but I, but I will not be able to read then. Then you have to read for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, 
because the only German I know is I don't know what does that mean don't ask me <laughs> all right so here it says let us uh, let us use Google translation but you know English so we can use English right I mean it's uh, this is this is for sure uh, translate to English <clears throat> all right here you will see they are saying they are uh, this guy this monk supposedly he asked Ali about things nobody knows except one person only and that is Ali he want to be sure that this is the guy so uh, he asked him uh, he said uh, I want you to tell me about those animals there's 24 animals Allah he cursed or let us say uh, uh, 24 kind of uh, uh, human uh, Allah cursed them and make them into animals he started with the okay. elephant he asked him what is the elephant what he was he said Ali Ali is talking now mm -hmm. as for the elephant there was a man who come to the beast he do sex with the beast with animals so Allah curse him and make him elephant <laughs> and then uh, uh, about the rabbit the rabbit was a woman who did not do have does not wash after masturbation <laughs> so Allah make her a rabbit as for the bear, he he was a, a feminine man. He was a homo. So Allah make him a bear. As for the scorpion, he was a man with two. Uh, uh, translation here is coming weird. Uh, as for the spider, let me go to the Arabic, the original Arabic. Uh, he was a person who speak about people in their in their back. You know, like he he, he gossip. You know? Yes. As for mm -hmm. the pigs, the pig, the pigs, there were seven hundred men who ate on the table of Asa, <laughs> and yeah, after they oh, ate in his table yeah. for forty days, they did not believe. <laughs> this is a good one, no? <laughs> oh, so they ate in the table of Asa for forty days, and because they did mm -hmm. not, be and they are seven hundred. I mean, how big the table of Asa, my friend? <laughs> This is bigger than all McDonald's in Germany together. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and then he says, as for the monkeys, they were 500 men of the Jews who walked in the Sabbath. You see what happened if you walk in the Sabbath? <laughs> and this is supposed to happen. Like, this is Ali happened. talking. Are you kidding me? Don't say that to the, your Shia. Your family will kill you if you say this not happened. Don't make fun of it. Be careful. Be careful. This is Ali, my friend. Ali, Ali is talking. As for the spider, it was a woman which witches her husband. <laughs> she do witchcraft to her husband. This was the spider. It, so like it, it was a female. Movie. Yeah. No. And then as for the turtle, even the turtle, man. As for the turtle, it was a man who, uh, 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 well, the translation here is very weird. Uh, the turtle, uh, hold on. <clears throat> Where is the turtle? Yeah, uh, he used to like play with the scale. Like when you buy tomato, you buy one kilogram. He like he steal one of them. You know what I mean? So he is not uh, on a decent in his business. So Allah made him a turtle. As for the lamb, it was a man who dig the graves to take the coffin of people from <laughs> after they die. He steal the he steal the clothes of the dead one. As for the ladybug, women. She was a woman. Uh, who called her daughter-in-law husband to her bed and actually look at here I mean Ali must be must be right because La lady bug even in English her name is lady <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> but um, CP I know um, these stories I mean there are tons of the could be lies as well I mean these are not the essence of a religion right I mean my friend what what what, what about this, the Quran the Quran is the most stupid book ever have you ever, as an example, read chapter 18? I don't remember by heart, but if I see it, maybe I remember. Chapter 18, read it, and you will leave Islam. It is mm. the most stupid ever you can come with. I mean, the one who came with the chapter 18, either he's taking too much hashish, or he's drink, drinking mineral water oh, every yeah, day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Uh, 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 all the stories with his fiction stories Muhammad he took it he put it in the Quran the seven sleepers it's a fiction story written by a guy his name is Yaqub and he is from Syria he is an Aramaic person he wrote it as a fiction 
for the Christian we are discriminated he said to them the time will come when we will be victorious Muhammad he took the story he put it in the Quran the seven sleepers mm -hmm. but this is a fiction story written by a guy we know his name and the book is published all over in the world and then uh, look at the wisdom here some they say they are asking Muhammad okay the seven sleepers how many how many they are <laughs> Even the title of the story is seven sleepers. So how many look at this Allah is talking now Some they say they were three and their dog is the fourth and Some they say they are five And they're four and their dog is number five and their dog is number six Some they say they are six and their dog is number seven Say no one knows their number save Allah. I mean what kind of this? What is that? I mean, what I don't. What is this? Um, how how are we supposed Ali, to understand? Ali, imagine, like this? imagine. You came to me to ask me how many are they those sleepers? I said to you, well, some they say they are three and their dog is number four, and some they say they are four and their dog is number five, and some they say they are five and the dog number six, and some they say they're they're seven and and, and they're six and the number dog is number seven. However, only Allah knows what is their real number and few. <laughs> So what is the numbers? What is what the point of this? What is the purpose of the first stupid, stupid story? And then not only that, he says, and they slept in the cave for three hundred years and nine. Mm. How come here he is so sure in the number of the years, but there he cannot tell us how many they are. And same time, mm. how you can say they are four and their dog is number uh, they are three and their dog is number four. This is wrong in Arabic and in English in any language. You don't count the dog as number four because dog is not a human Yes, yes. correct yes. Like I can say that uh, I saw three guys and Ali was yes. number four That's yes. accurate because there are three guys and he's a guy like them So we but we cannot say uh, and and uh, and, and uh, like uh, three guys and their dog is number four because this is stupid He's a dog the dog is number one between the dogs. We cannot count him as number four and then the story continue like you know uh, uh, the flying carpet of Suleiman Suleiman uh, 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 you know uh, shaitan he take his ring and he starts sleeping with his wives doing boom 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 and then the wives they notice that Suleiman cannot be Suleiman because he's doing so good in the boom boom and Suleiman he cannot do good boom boom and then they told the elders that Suleiman cannot be Suleiman because the boom boom of our normal husband cannot be the same because he's so good in doing it like he don't stop you know I mean what kind of religion this religion is Shaitan yes, sir, I mean. who in the world yeah, accept that Shaitan is sleeping yeah. with the wives of a prophet yeah. and not only that Shaitan according to Islam he take a look of a, of a prophet he took the look of Suleiman in, in uh, uh, the for the for the Sunni they agree that he took the look of Jibreel too so how we can trust God if, if Shaitan can come to us as Jibreel Shaitan he can take a look of Suleiman or maybe he would take the look of Muhammad how I can trust anything maybe Muhammad himself is a Shaitan so what does this all mean now that in the cave to Muhammad maybe the devil came and gave him all the story of his yeah there's a Shaitan his name is Al Abiyad the reason they call him Al Abiyad because simply he came as in a white color as Jibreel but he's not white so he changed his color he changed his look but by accepting this story that's mean we cannot trust anything Muhammad brought to us because maybe it is all from this Abiyad person yeah okay so you would say that it's like Islam is totally basically the devil basically gave it to Muhammad because we cannot know if, if, if the Muslims agree that shaitan he gave Muhammad verses and etc and he came in the look of Jibreel then how we can trust that Muhammad he did not receive the whole thing from the same devil you see even in the books of the Sunni <clears throat> I can show you some source from the Shia too but usually yeah, I mean I, I just show... I'm not only believing in the Shia sources I mean I'm not so strict in that I okay. take hmm. basically uh, Muhammad he said that shaitan he command him to do good mm -hmm. well I mean how much convincing that Muhammad is a prophet look at this there's none amongst you with whom is not attached from amongst the jinn the devil the companion mm -hmm. said Allah messenger with you too 
whereupon he said Muhammad yes but Allah helped me against him and I am safe from his hand he does not command me but for good mm. how is that possible how, how Muhammad is a prophet of God and the one is commanding him is shaitan yeah and how shaitan mm. he command good since when shaitan he command people to do good is shaitan he just said the devil yeah. this is the good devil <laughs> mm. <laughs> so my friend Ali why you don't say I'm out of Islam the problem um, CCP I I thinking I'm thinking a lot about it because it's about my soul basically you know I, it's not something easy which I could decide but I'm really having my doubts to be honest you know I have my doubts about it but there are, I don't know there are still some things which keep me on it I don't know what it is exactly but maybe you want um, to have uh, 72 versions actually okay see I would say if it's okay if you stay on this topic that you just said the 72 versions I mean to what is it okay so you say in Islam there are 72 I'm, versions what I'm about here, like what happens help. as a Christian for example if you die sorry what happens if you die as a as a Christian for example that's a good question um, okay you see here how we know if the person is speaking for God or not God is not a pimp. He will not seduce me and tempt me by sexual activities. All of us, we knew that, you know, sexuality, it can be good, it can be wrong. The bent you mm -hmm. are practicing that with who? God, when he gave us this gift, is for the order of having a family and to reproduce. Not for the joy itself, mm -hmm. which means sex was not the purpose. So Adam and Eve, they complete each other to make a family. However, in Islam, sexuality became the target, not God. When yes. when they ask uh, 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 Jesus, okay, the, the Jews, because they think the same way as Muslims, you know, uh, oh. they ask Jesus, okay, there's a guy, he married a woman, uh, and then he, he, he passed away. Uh, and then his his brother he married her etc. Uh, so he's who's going to have her in the heaven? Jesus said, in the heaven, in his kingdom, there's we will be the same as angels. We will not marry or get married. We will be the same as angels. What does that mean? That mean uh, we will be free from our needs you see happiness is not about eating a falafel the one who made you uh, like or he creates something in your tongue to be able to taste food he can give you better joy correct yes okay but this is not necessity or necessarily to be by eating falafel so do mm -hmm. angels enjoy their life obviously they are angels they are happy so we will be the same as angels, but angels are not eating, they are not drinking, they are not having sex, but yet they are happy creatures. So God will make us free. The first thing will be when you became the same as angel, which means you will not be an angel, but the same as angel, you will be free from your needs. Because sex is a need, food is a need, sleeping is a need. It's all is needs, it's not just uh, like a choice. Some of them is not even a choice. We have to do them. So when you will be the same as an angel, you are free from everything. In other way, God, he made you, he leveled you up from a human mm -hmm. who is slave of your needs to be a creature who is free of needs. So you live with God with happiness, but not because you need something from him. You are free. You do not need to eat. Yeah. You do not need to drink still you are happy and your happiness cannot be described so jesus he described that for us and it is way higher than somebody describing for me heaven as women created just for sex to be sex uh, a game and uh, eating uh, fruits and drinking wine and eighty thousand little boys serving me it's a child abuse it's a women abuse it's disrespect for our nature as a human 
Yes, no, I've this heard is, you talking about yeah, this topic before, and I really find it disgusting how it is described the paradise. So, Ali, to why you don't leave Islam, my friend? Why you don't say today I am out of this cult? Yeah, I think I think I am out. Hallelujah! Here we go. Our friend Ali, he called us as a Muslim, and now he is not a Muslim no more. Ali. You just made a decision, and this is a very important decision. You don't want to be Muslim no more, and you just denounce Islam. You refuse it. So mm -hmm. why you don't accept Jesus? Have you ever heard of a name better than his name? Have you ever heard of a teaching better than his teaching? Mm, I, it's very good what I heard up to now about the our Jesus and the life of Jesus. But I, for example, um, I have a question also about it because, for example, um, the, there is no book like in Islam, right? The four Gospels are not like just one book like in Quran, right? No, it doesn't matter. Four books is four witnesses. It's, it's still it's the same one, one book. You see, uh, when we say four books, we are not talking about four messages. We are talking about the same thing. It's just four writers, four witnesses. And actually, in Islam, Muhammad, he changed the law from one witness to four witness for adultery, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if adultery in Islam need four witnesses, isn't it better to have it four witnesses for God from one? Yes, for sure. Four witnesses, they confirm all of them the same thing. That will make yeah. it more accurate and will confirm that it's not just one person. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe there's something wrong there. Four witnesses, all of them, they are delivering the same message. So that is yeah. a, is is better for us as a Christian, not for our bad. It's for our good. Okay, but CP, for example, um, when I was like truly believing in Islam and with, and before I started doubting it, I tried to obviously read about Christianity, and there was always the concept of the Trinity, right? But I mean. If the Trinity is right, I mean, why is it then not so easy to understand? I mean, is there a reason why no, it's no, difficult actually, to understand? You see, first of all, God is a miracle. God himself is a miracle. Do you know what miracle means? Yes, kind of, yes. What is miracle? Miracle is something which is unnatural, basically, but um, miracle I don't know, is something I know what a miracle is, but I don't know. No, to miracle is something we cannot understand how it yeah, happened, yes. right? Yes. Okay, God is a miracle. So, in order when you say I, I cannot we cannot comprehend how mm. is the glory however the Trinity is very easy if you look around you you see everything is created around us have a have the fingerprint or signature of God mm. as an example what do you the Quran says that everything every living thing is uh, from water correct yes okay well mm. water is h2o yes Okay, three. Okay, well, why the water is a? Uh, 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 if you go the uh, the golden ratio, it is one to two, three. And why? Golden ratio is a, we are talking about science now. We are talking about uh, yes, you know, this is just the, the the ratio of a beauty, sig signature of God. All the trees in the world, all beautiful things in the world exist by based on the golden ratio, because there's one artist, one creator. Trinity is very simple. You know. Uh, I'm I'm going to do I don't know like uh, maybe I need to do some drawing but if we look at the Sun in the sky we have yeah. a star right mm -hmm. it's called the Sun and the reason we yes. call it the Sun uh, I mean we could say we have sunny day we have a, a rainy day so sunny day I mean we see the Sun so it is something we see yes. it is a star but there is a light coming from the sun which make us see the star correct yes otherwise the star will not be seen if there's no light yes of and then there is a heat come from the sun but we don't feel the heat the heat i mean we don't see the heat we feel it mm -hmm. correct yes correct there are three but all of them they are the sun the sun has a star the sun has light the sun has mm -hmm. heat still the sun okay. the sun as a star is there up in heaven the light is here in my room mm -hmm. in the same time it is there because it's coming from the same source which is the Sun 
In the same time, there's something is called heat. We don't see, we feel. This is what is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God accompany us down in earth. We don't see, but we can feel when we believe. The light is the Word of God. That is Jesus. He is the visible image of the invisible God. God in heaven, because His glory is so amazing, you cannot see Him. Otherwise, you will go. You would. You will die. Actually, if you stare at the little tiny sun, which is tiny compared to compared to what is God blind. is, you will go blind. If you look mm -hmm. at the sun for two minutes, you will go blind. So imagine mm -hmm. if God Himself we are looking at. So Trinity is very simple. God, He 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 came to us in a visible image, which is the image of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So the Messiah is nothing but the image. Or the, the, the visible image of the invisible God now we believe in the same time that we have one God but mm -hmm. can is it possible that God can be three three of persons course. in the same time well God if he is God then why we call him God if he cannot be yes of course you know we, we call somebody Almighty because he's Almighty mm -hmm. that's mean there's no limit for what he can do or what he is so if there is if he is what he is this is what he, he introduced himself to us this is what he is if there is a guy he is from India he's a Hindu let us say he said I have 1,000 God and then we discover that yes there's 1,000 God that will not change the fact that yes there is 1,000 God it's not about the numbers right yes it is about the fact so either we accept it that this is the fact or we refuse it this is how God he present himself to us that this is I am I am one Yet I am a three person or we say I'm not going to believe in that However, everything the Messiah he came with the proof to us that this is true You know we as a Christian we you know we feel the help the Holy Spirit and We saw the power of the Holy Spirit and we saw the power of Jesus and always the Holy Spirit is with Jesus said I will leave you and every two mention my name. I will be between them which means I will be the third how he can be mm -hmm. with, you know between us by his invisible image well, what does that yes. mean we have we have god we have the holy spirit we have this we have the man which is supposed to be jesus so the holy spirit is with us always so he said i will go and i will leave with you the comforter and the comforter is the spirit so god has a spirit in christianity god is a spirit in christianity mm -hmm. god is capable of in christianity in islam no the Muslim they say to you God don't have a spirit yes. yet he is a physical being but this is crazy because and now the Shia actually is more horrible because the Shia they say he is not a physical being but he don't have a spirit so what he is nothing what is yes. that you know true he's not a physical being he is not a spirit so Trinity is a very very simple way to understand God is is you know to 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 see the nature around us we will we will find that the Trinity itself is what make us live you yourself you know like uh, uh, two days ago we were talking about uh, Muhammad phobia with the cross and uh, mm -hmm. things uh, but if you think you you yourself is a cross <laughs> mm -hmm. even without opening your hands by the way you know what I mean yeah, yeah even true. without opening your hands you are a cross and that will mm -hmm. make you uh, uh, you know I mean so we can find evidence of things around us if we just observe carefully and we don't just take what people say to us I don't want you to take what I'm saying to you I want you mm -hmm. to think about it which means don't make decision because a Christian Prince he said things no. you make decision no. because you think about it and you agree with it and then you say okay this is right or this is wrong no. No, I mean uh, when I was a Muslim I was super convinced of this I mean I was very strong in my belief and about everything what the people told me about Islam and what I read about it and I listened to many Shia scholars and stuff. But since I started reading just about Muhammad himself, I started realizing there's something wrong. That's why my doubts actually started because how can he marry a good girl which was only six years of age? And just many, many horrible other things. And just if you compare Muhammad to Jesus, you can already see that between them there's a world difference. So we cannot compare. I was just comparing yeah. between Muhammad and Jesus is an insult to Jesus. Uh, yes. You see, we, we have we have the holiness and we have the madness. We have while Jesus was forgiving his enemies in the cross, Muhammad was putting nails in their eyes and torturing them. And Muhammad, I mean, name one thing Muhammad ugly did not do. No. Not even, 
not even one thing he did not do I mean is not ugly like look just to show you how Muslims they act this guy his name is Muslim proper he's saying uh, Chris CP I am across right now you see they are making fun I am across mm -hmm. yes your, your shape in the shape of a cross you're being yeah. a, you are being silly he's making fun but this is true you are in the shape of a cross mm -hmm. yeah. actually everything around you in this life is if you if you uh, you know if you if you put a, 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 a like a glass in the front of the sun you will see the light will come to you as a cross too anything mm -hmm. anything around you is crucifixion and the crucifixion the funny they are making fun of the crucifixion but Allah himself he chose to punish people by the cross yeah. and I mean what was this story that the Muslims always keep saying which is written in the Quran that Allah made someone look like Jesus to die on the cross. I mean, wouldn't then Allah be the person who made the Christians even like he deceived exist? Him. Exactly, he deceived them. He's a liar. He's a deceiver, and that's why my book is called the Deception of Allah, because Allah is the biggest deceiver. It's what He say in the Quran. They they deceive, and He deceive, and He's the best of deceivers. So Allah, He put someone look like Jesus in the cross, in order to save Isa. But look, look how the Muslims. They get their prophet busted. Jesus and the cross was saved. Muhammad dying was not saved. Yeah. Why? Why Allah? He saved Jesus. He don't want to save Muhammad. And he died like his altar was cut or something. He right. felt it like so that how way. how somebody? Okay, the Muslim they say that the most beloved person to Allah is Muhammad. So Allah yeah. saved. Jesus who is not the most beloved person to Allah and he did not save the poor Muhammad for three four years suffering from this pain he 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 vomit everything he eat and Allah did not send uh, a clown to eat the goat instead of him yeah. no Islam doesn't make sense and what is this concept of the Mahdi you know which comes for the Shia I mean there's Mahdi, Mahdi just another, and uh, Mahdi coming another Shia this. another Shia fiction you know and Mahdi is a the Mahdi is a the, the uh, a person who was exist and the caliphate he killed him obviously overnight and those people mm -hmm. poor people they told him so they would not make revolution they told him he's gone he will be back <laughs> like like Al Qazafi he killed the uh, Shia uh, scholar you know, he went to Libya. <laughs> Al-Qazafi, he denied that he met him. <laughs> so the caliphate, he killed this guy. And they, they, they spread rumors, you know, like uh, the same as the, the, the British intelligence. They they made the, the guy, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, mm -hmm. uh, the Messiah. You know, mm -hmm. the, 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 the British intelligence, when they were in India, the Muslim, they start fighting against them. And then, the uh, as usual, this uh, this uh, you know big organization empire, they want soldiers to fight against those who they are fighting them from the Muslims. So what they did, they created Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. Ahmad Mirza Ghulam suddenly became the Messiah, sponsored by the British intelligence, and many start believing. And the first thing Ahmad Mirza Ghulam he said to them, join the British army. The same as the Shia in in many countries in the in the in the, in the Middle East. Yeah. The Shia they have many prophets cre created or let us say uh, holy men created by the French intelligence. The French they wanted people to fight with them or to be their soldiers. So they went to the poor Alawi uh, poor Shia, and they they chose their agent, and then the guy he go and he put a lamp on his body. At that time, electricity was not known. He put a lamp in his body and here we go the lamp is lighting and they bow down for him and then after that the guy he says if you want to serve allah you join the french army and mm. that's it so so always religion is used for a purpose of agenda or propaganda and muhammad is no different muhammad in the beginning like a few days ago i was uh, reading an article written by muslims and the article saying that the sabian are stars worshippers mm. okay so how muhammad says in the quran that sabians will go to heaven mm -hmm. he said that yeah. yeah because he's a hypocrite 
He's the same mm -hmm. as the French intelligence. When he mm -hmm. when they want, you are their friend, and they will make you God or a prophet, just to make a bunch of fo fools to follow you. Muhammad mm -hmm. is the same as those. When he want the Christian, the Jews, they will go to heaven. Even the Sabians who worship stars, they will go to heaven. That's when why the Muslims are not uh, like they don't know what to believe now. They, some of them say yeah. Christians go to heaven, some of them say no. Like everyone is saying something different. Yeah, Ali, just give me a second. I, I have a, I have a delivery in my door. Give me a second, please. Yes, yes. of course. That's that's horrible. That's actually shocking. All right, guys, do you do you hear me? I think people in the in the chat they did not hear me for for a little bit of time. Uh, am I heard, guys? I hope they hear me now. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, Ali, I think I think you as a person, you have to make uh, a decision, and the decision is very uh, simple. Mm -hmm. Either you know, uh, either you say, you, you already you decide to leave Islam. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, now I'm even more sure about it. Yeah. Well, so as long as you decide to leave Islam, and I cannot really, I mean, I cannot say to you more than I would love to invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior. There is no better than Him. No better teaching. Love your enemy. Be merciful to them. And His miracles speak of Him. He did not. A per, he's not a person who made the speeches. He is a person who did things nobody can do. So, mm -hmm. if if the name of the Messiah alone is not enough, his work is enough. What the Messiah said: "From their fruits you shall know them." And I will practice that on the Messiah himself. From his fruit you shall know him. The fruit of the Messiah is beyond beautiful, beyond powerful, beyond amazing. So why we will not accept him? Yes, all right. But um, what 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 actually is necessary to be a Christian? Like you just have to believe in Jesus and follow what he did. The first thing is to believe, and then the believe. Hello, you hear me? Hello. Yes, I hear you now. Yes. Yeah. You see, what the Bible says, uh, faith without fruits is a dead faith but it's mm -hmm. not your fruits will save you it's your faith but because you have faith in the Messiah then your life will change and you will have a fruit different from the fruit as a person who's a Muslim so to be saved is to have faith and if you are truly faithful then you will give a fruit you know what I mean 
Yes. It's like there's a tree and this tree says, okay, I am a good tree, but this tree does not give a fruit. So obviously, there's something wrong with this tree because this tree is made to give a fruit. It's a fruity tree. So the second you became a believer and you are a true believer, not fake, and then you will have a fruit and you will be known mm -hmm. by the Messiah, by your fruits, not by your name. My name is a Christian prince, but who said I'm a Christian? Maybe I'm not. Yes. Right? The fruits will judge. So the Messiah, he will know you by your fruits. And how the fruit happen mm -hmm. if you have a true faith. So having a true faith will lead you to the good fruits to do. So you have mm -hmm. the true faith in the Messiah, you believe in him, and don't worry, he will guide you. And even if I, for example, can't say it with my tongue in front of people, it's not a problem, right? Like, I mean, it will be very hard in the beginning to, to how to say it, to we announce this. I understand. But we as a Christian, we have to be truthful and we, we don't practice taqiyya. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? I know. So um, you do not need to go on the street and say, I'm a Christian and I don't be crazy. But uh, you should not deny your faith if you have faith. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will be a liar. Okay, yes, you're right. The Messiah, he don't accept such a thing. The one who deny me, I deny him. So, I, me myself, I will never deny him. Mm -hmm. you know? No, you're right. If, if he is, you shouldn't deny the truth. Yeah. So, uh, uh, be smart. The, the Messiah, he said, be smart. You know, and be peaceful in the same time. So, be wise and be smart and be peaceful. So, being a smart does not mean being a liar. Like the Muslim practice in Taqiyya. So, mm -hmm. if something will bring you a problem, try to avoid maybe not to mention it, but you cannot deny the mm -hmm. Messiah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are it. Yeah. So, what do you think, Ali? Do you like to 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 accept the Messiah as your personal savior? Mm -hmm. I accept. I mean to that. Hallelujah. We have our friend now. He became our brother Ali. He called me as a Muslim, and now he is accepting the Messiah as a savior. So, my friend Ali, I want you to pray with me. Please pray and make it from your heart. Say, My Lord, the Messiah, I give myself to you. I need your help. I need your guidance. I want you to guide me, to direct me. I want you to be my Lord from all my heart. I want you to be the light of my life. I don't want to be alone ever again. Be my Lord. You said, knock at my door and I will open for you. And today I did knock at your door. Ali, my friend, I am happy for you. The Bible said, Thank you very much. The Bible said, there is a happiness in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved. And this is what we have now in the kingdom of God. Our Father, He accepts you, and I assure you that. And by His name, I pray for your protection, for your life, for your family, even your Muslim family. We pray for them to be good, happy, and living in peace, not only you. And we pray for all the Muslims. Anything you want to say, Ali? The mic is yours. Um, I just want to say um, just my last words to you, CP, because um, without you, um, all this wouldn't be possible. I'm watching your videos for many months, and without you, it wouldn't be possible that I accept Christ today. So um, I just want to say thank you very much, and I hope I can talk to you soon again. You will thank come. you. And much. Ali, if you want, you can bring your family. If they want to talk to me, even in private, I have no problem. Okay, like, thank you very much. I will try like, talk, Because there's many people, they like, you know, I talk to them in private because they are shy yeah. or you know there's danger or whatever you know so yeah. even if your family want to talk to me in the private you can call me but just tell me in, like uh, so i can set a time and i will be happy yeah. to speak to your family okay thank you very much if you really I, I i try to pray as a christian for you thank you very much thank you my friend and may the lord bless you and i ask all the all the christians who they are listening to pray to our brother ali to have a to have a a, a good life and to have a good relationship with the lord and he will never deny him by any way, by any mean. Thank you, Ali, and take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. As you see, the Lord, he do amazing things. And it's not me who help you, 
you help yourself and the Lord he helped you I'm just a person sharing some knowledge little tiny knowledge with you I am no one it is you myself you, yourself who help yourself every one of us who suffer from a problem Sometimes we complain about something. Sometimes we are bothered by something, but we don't want to, uh, you know, we don't want to do something to change it. And you know, being born of a family have a certain belief. You should always accept a belief, not in heritage. Which means, even if you, if you are born as a Christian and you are not really thinking to be Christian, why you want to be Christian? By name. Even for the Lord, you are not accepted. Christianity does not care for numbers. We don't do what the Muslims do. They say we are 0.4, whatever, billion. If we count the Christians, we are more than 3 billion. But this is not a true number. Because there is many are fake names. This is why the Messiah says, Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. So, Christ is not the same as Muhammad not the same as Allah he don't care for Shahada he don't care for you to make a witness he care for you to be truthful and this is how we know the true God from the fraud the fraud is a fraud just say Shahada and you are welcome <laughs> How are you, Abbas? Hello? Yes, Abbas, how are you? Yeah, peace be to you. I'm very well, I'm better now. Abbas, you just said to I me, peace be well. to you? Yeah, sorry, I'm better now. Yeah, but okay. thanks for asking. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, just listening to you for a while. Yeah, but you just said to me something today. strange. Hold your your, your Abbas, shop Abbas. is very busy, man, today. Abbas, just and wait. Day. Abbas, just wait. <laughs> just wait. You just what? said to me, peace to you. Yes, peace to you, brother. Okay, but isn't it your prophet he forbid you to say peace to me? Did he? Uh huh. You do not know Abbas? Are you going to practice the no, now? No. You are my brother from Adam. We what? have the same so father. So how you explain to me your prophet? He forbid mm -hmm. you from uh, saying peace to the Christians and the Jews. Mm -hmm. what, 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 do you, what do you say? Didn't he say wa alaykum when they saw alaykum to him? When I shall no, say why didn't he say that? He said wa alaykum. Don't, don't. And, and to you. My friend, let me show you the hadith on the yeah. screen. And you read it. You, 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 call me, you call me your friend? My, your friend? I am a Christian. I can call did, you even my brother, but you cannot call me did, that. Didn't, didn't your God of the Bible told David to kill everybody who doesn't believe? Well, Slaughter everybody? Well, it's well, the same God? Okay, okay hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who is the one who told David that? Uh, when David go and kill, God blessed him, mm. and he go he kill killed everybody he on the him. mountain hills, he on the plains. He, he destroyed the nations, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. and he he destroyed their worship places, see, okay. and he bring a lot of treasure. Wait, wait a minute. Let me let me let me make mm. my point. Mm. He bring a lot of treasure, silver, gold, and everything for God, mm. and God has blessed him. Mm. And remember, don't forget, mm. David was of of the heart of God. That was all the heart of God was doing it. David what a was beautiful what? Heart. David was what? Stealing things, killing people. David was what? First of all, David, David was David, David was a man you see, you see, of God's own heart. Abbas, this is part, God's heart. This is a, not this very is a part, clean, not very really holy. This is part of the fraud of Islam. When David um, decided to build a temple for God, God said to David, "Your money and your temple is not accepted, for you are a criminal and your hands is full of blood. So you are a liar, Abbas." Secondly. So yeah. God, God's heart oh, is then, now, listen, Ooh, the hadith, David was uh, the hadith, God's own heart. The hadith, Don't forget the hadith that. is in the front if you read it. Uh, hang on a minute. Well, okay. We're going to come back to David. Yeah? We'll Don't come forget. to anywhere you want. No problem. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Abu Hurairah <laughs> reported that the Prophet ﷺ may bless him and grant him peace. said, do not give the people of the book the greeting first. Force them to the narrowest part of the road. Yeah, well, they, they, I'm sure there's a context to it. Because people the of the book at that particular time might okay. be very horrible. Give me the people, context. Give me the context. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Give me the context of it. Give me the context. Go ahead. 
we have to read uh, the proper book of the hadith where there's a siyaq of read it because uh, we are told remember uh, mm. we, uh, we have a did argue about that before remember in islam chapter mm. 5 verse 5 uh, tells you mm. that you can marry a uh, jewish and, uh, and a christian woman mm. so you telling me christian or jew i marry with a christian or a jew mm. and i'm not allowed to give her peace Mm. She, because she's a Christian Jew, I'm not allowed to give her a peace. Okay. That's what he's saying. Is that how your logic works? Okay. Oh, well, hold on. See how twisted your logic is. You see how twisted your twisted prophet your common logic. sense. So, uh, so you are saying to me now. Everybody heard you that this is a twisted logic that you cannot say peace to the Christians, but you can have sex with their women. No, 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 no. You need to understand something in the, in the, as a bigger picture, not just pick and choose from. You are the one who said that to me. A, it's not me who said that. Picture, what Islam it is, is teaching it you. Is Islam teaches you. It is not Islam me. It is not me who you said can, that. Can it is you, yeah. Abdul. It is not me who said this is twisted logic. It's you. Who is the one who used the word twisted? Uh, I. Okay. Because you are the one who's twisted. Why, you. why you, you say that? Because, because I'm not this you said how we cannot say salamu alaikum, but yet we can sleep with your women. Correct. But that's why I said when mm. even if you can have a marry, uh, marriage, marriage, uh, marry with a Jewish and Christian. Okay. That means you can have you love them. Read for me this chapter. Peace, you protect them. Read for me this chapter. Read for me. This hadith says Read. that. That means this hadith has okay. a context. Let us, let us and maybe say, at that particular time, okay. those people of the book were very horrible. Hold people. on, hold on, hold So on, then, hold on. Hold uh, hold uh, 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 don't say that. No, 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 no. So it's probably, uh, let, let me get you busted. That let me let me get you busted. Read for me the verse in front of you. Right. Oh, chapter and verse chapter 2 verse 2 to 1 right and do not marry unbelieving women uh, until uh, we talked about that before uh, we talked about this is not talking about uh, Jews and Christians Jews and Christians are, are you sure as my uh, are you this sure is talking about, are you this sure? is talking about Mushrikun. are you sure yes. okay. oh I'm damn sure if I show I you that you are you, yeah, if yeah, I show you yeah, that yeah, you yeah. are lying are you going to apologize you have one to choose one of two either you say I'm lying or I you say I was ignorant trying to play smart. Which which one you choose? I'm going to say you are wrong. Okay, and you will be wrong. Which I'll which interpretation you, you like me to show you? Third option, Trinity. <laughs> which interpretation you like me to show you? I interpretation. Why going to interpretation? Is not the verse is not clear enough for you? Yeah. So why you Muslim have interpretation if the verse is clear? <laughs> so you you saying all the interpretations are correct? I can't laugh like Bart Simpson. I'm I saying guess. all of you Muslims are, a, are, are, are hypocrite and you try always to manipulate the words. So the interpretation is accurate when you want, you don't, when you want, you don't want it. So now, based in who, who is the one who told you that the Mushrikeen is not the Christians? Uh, show me in the Quran where Allah mentioned uh, Le Kitab as Mushrikun. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'll show you the verse All right. where Allah say, in the same words mm. the, uh, distinguishedly say Le Kitab and Mushrikun in the same words. I'll show you that. Okay, so if I show you that the Christians are Mushrikeen in the, in the Quran, what you will no, do? No, 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 no Christians are Mushrikeen. This is you show me the Christians are Addressed uh, as Mushrikun. Sure, the Christians all over the Quran. <laughs> no, 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 they are addressed as not Ahl Kitab, not Nasara, not Yehud, but uh, addressed as Mushrikun. Okay, here we go. Read, yeah. with me, read with me. Chapter 5, verse number 17. What it says? Chapter 5, verse number 17. Yeah, mm. what it says? Is the Christian Mushrikun or not? In the Quran, did, did you hear me? What I said, I just heard you. Yeah. They, they are addressed as all oh, you mushrikun, all oh, mushrikun. Okay, you want, you want the word mushrikun exactly? No, they are addressed, they are addressed as Nasara and Nasara. Yes, they are in mushrikun, but mushrikun, for example, in the army, they are they are all soldiers, but they have different you different see, titles. You see, okay, read, so read, read this verse for me. Read, read, read this verse for me. Let, let us love people another people. verse, another verse. Let us love together, another verse. Okay, just for the sake of fun. Hmm? Yeah. When mm -hmm. when when the Quran says that the Christians are mushrikeen, and the Quran says in the other verse that don't marry from the mushrikeen. So you mm -hmm. are saying to me the Christians are not mushrikeen or they are mushrikeen? Well, what happened? The Christians are addressed as Nasara. Or uh, don't be stupid, don't and, be stupid. Uh, uh, Nasara uh, is a name. Nasara is a name. Mushrikeen is situation. 
is them associating someone with God. Stop being stupid. So, did the Quran call the Christian mushrikeen? Yes or no? Quran did not address them as all oh, mushrikeen. Quran always say, oh, Nasrallah. He did address them. You are a liar. Chapter 5, verse number 72. Yeah. Go yeah. in front of you. Put the translation on, man. I'm not an Arab. Why? You are not an Arab? Mm. Okay. Well, what what no, the translation? No. What yeah. the translation you want, uh, Abbas? What the translation you want? What is the best translator for you? Is your tafsir is on? You are Pakistan, yeah. right? You are yeah. from Pakistan, Abbas. You are from Pakistan, right? So yeah. I should give you a Pakistani no, translation. No, no, oh, Pakistan. Hold on. It's hold Pakistan. Pa, pa, pa. Uh, Pakistan, but uh, let me tell you no. something. I have a bad That's news right. for you. Your prophet will say it Pakistan too because in Arabic we don't have pa. Have, have you spoken to him? <laughs> well, in Arabic we don't have pa, it's we have ba. Like oh, read read, with, me. Read, read with me, read with me, read with me. Is the Christians mushrikeen? Yes or no? Certainly disbelieved who say Allah is what the, the Messiah, word is believed. The what the word is believed. Messiah has said, O hmm. children of Israel. Worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. Subhanallah. This is what the real Messiah was. Okay. Oh, children of Allah, worship, uh, children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. Mm. Indeed, he who associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden him paradise, and his refuge is in the fire, and they are not for the wrongdoers and helpers. Where this is, mm. where this is. So, did the Christian, are, did the Christian, you know, did the Christian commit, commit shirk or not? Right? Did the Christian, according to this verse, commit shirk or not? I told you, yes, they the community the, the, okay. the, the other verse says the other verse says don't marry the other verse says the other the other verse says don't marry from the mushrikeen. How you so how you marry Christians? Okay, okay, I'm looking for the verse where Allah distinguishedly <laughs> said the mushrik uh, the sara, um, um now listen, let, let us go back to the business. Abdul, listen. So you so said to me, okay, business, man. let us go, let us go with you. Let us go with your lie, Abbas. Let us go with your lie. You are like a kid who play with his nose looking for boogers. Listen to this. You said that the prophet said, don't associate, don't say the peace to the Christians and those they were bad Christians. Can you name one for me who was a bad Christian in the time of Muhammad? Bad Christian in the time of Muhammad? Mm -hmm. Just bad, one bad. I guess uh, those people who um, uh, came to debate him in Medina. But those are bishops. Uh, they did nothing to him. They came to debate him. You just said they came to debate him. They are not bad. So you are saying your prophet, he said to the monks, he said to the Muslims, don't agree the monk. And if you see them, force them to walk in the sewage. Who said they were all monks? Who are you talking about? You are the one who just said to me. They are the one who came to debate him. The one who came to debate him, supposedly they are monks. The whole, the whole tribe came. The Holy Tribe came, guys. The Holy Tribe came. <laughs> yes. Well, okay, well, what interpretation? Well, okay, what interpretation you are reading from? Uh, listen, listen, Abdul. What interpretation you are reading from? I have read the Sira. Um, uh, two Siras I read. In the two Siras, okay, is the people come from. I think. Uh, All right. Okay. What those people did? Did they throw rocks at your prophet? What they did? They came. And they were leader. Even they were two brothers. What they did? And one what they did? What they did? back one of them came back he, he decided to become a muslim okay and, and so what so did they, did they do any harm to your prophet well they were arrogant and arrogance is so if you are okay arrogant. you are saying to arrogant. me okay okay hold on, hold on hold on just to show you how stupid abbas is he just said if you are arrogant you don't accept islam the muslim they've been asked to not to say peace to you and they are forced even they will force you to walk in the sewage well i am arrogant why you say peace to me According to your logic, according to your logic, I am arrogant like them even more. So why you say peace to me? Because you are a fraud. Because you are a hypocrite. You just get yourself busted. You said because they are arrogant, the prophet says, don't say peace to them and force them, which means do violence to them. And now you are saying to me, peace. That's because you are a fraud, Abbas. Can I answer? No, you cannot. You are a fraud. Okay. Come on, give me. Give when you me just say that, please, everybody please, heard please. you. Everybody heard you because they are arrogant. So just because they are arrogant, they will not accept Islam according to your logic. We cannot say I peace to that. him. So why you said peace to me? So why you said peace to me? Why you said peace to me? I also why I say peace to you. Mm, why? Can I? Yeah, because, because you're you Because you are. You're, I hope you you're get better. In Did you say that? Did you say in Skype. I hope you get better the other day. I said that to you. 
Thank you very much. So that's very nice of you. So mm -hmm. I returned the favor to you and I said peace to you. There you go. But you oh, said peace to me. Oh, hold on, hold on. So because I say to you, I hope you will get well, that's mean you will be hypocrite and you say something to me you don't believe in. You say peace to me. When you're a prophet, he forbid you from saying that. Well, I mean it when I said it, peace Just to shut me. up and don't call me again. You are just a kid. Those people, they did nothing to Muhammad. And you admit it. So why he is saying force them to the narrow road? Imagine I'm walking on a road and then a bunch of uh, Muslims walking in front of me and then I start throwing rocks at them or I force them to jump in the sewage. Why? Because they don't believe in Jesus. Liar. You have no shame. If we go right now to Ibn Kathir, we will find Ibn Kathir explaining the story for us. Hold on, we have Muhammad Qasim here. Hold on, Muhammad Qasim wants to say something to me. I don't know. He's, he's going to teach me something. <laughs> Muhammad Qasim is using the internet of the neighbors. It's not working. Anyway. Uh, peace in English is the word salam, the name of Allah. So you can say peace, but you cannot say salam. Look at this stupid idiot. Look, look at this guy. Look at this. Look at the madness and stupidity. Peace in English is Salam, the name of Allah. So you can say peace, but you cannot say Salam. So he said to me peace in English, but he cannot say Salam to me in Arabic. I mean, do you see the logic? You stupid idiot. The word peace means peace. Doesn't matter what it's what, if in Arabic or not. <laughs> and how Salam is the name of Allah. The word Salam is exists before Islam. And it's not Arabic. It is Shalom. Stupidity, hypocrisy. Oh, I can say to you peace in English. I cannot say to you salam in Arabic, brother. Do you see the hypocrisy? Hypocrite. The third column religion. This is the third column religion. Yeah, I know, Lisa. You used to be uh, Mother Teresa. I believe you. I used to be the Pope too. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim want to say something smart? Until now, we did not get one smart Muslim to say something to us. All of them, they fail. Look at this prophet. While Jesus was saying, pray for them who curse you. Muhammad was saying, if you see Christian in the street, in the street, spit on them, humiliate them. Do you see the difference? Do you see the fraud? Do you see the evil Muhammad? And why you don't practice that with in the in the street in America, my friend? How come you Muslims don't practice that in America? Practice it, try. Just a try. <laughs> Muhammad, when he was weak, he was a potato. After he became strong, he wanna slaughter everybody. Yeah, harass them, you know, spit in their face. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. A very, very wonderful guy, amazing guy. And they say to you, the prophet was an amazing person. He teach peace and love. He was a, man, a mercy for mankind. You see the mercy of mankind? You see a person in the street, you do not know him just because he is not from your religion. You spit in his face and you humiliate him and you force him to change his way. So Abbas is driving in the highway going to from London to uh, Manchester and then a Christian face him and he want to practice Islam on him so Abbas he will stop his car he stop you idiot go back from where you came from I will not let you go from here go to different uh, different route that is Islam and the hypocrite he says to me peace Abu is calling again how are you, Abu? Hello. Do you like to cough before you start? No, I think I'm done with coughing now. Okay, what do you think about what we are saying now? So, what what, what, what were we talking about? Um, about your prophet saying, meetings? if you see Christians in the street, you have to hurt them. Um, from what I understand is that um, 
there's a context to that um, hadith. Hmm. What is the context for that hadith? I think I think it was um, hmm. it, the prophet was going to war with them. So if if that's if, if, if 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 okay, what is the tribe? What is the Christian tribe? The prophet he went with war to in the Arabian Peninsula. Can you name one for me? Which one? He says, if you meet them in the street, what war? You meet them in the street. You meet your enemy in war in the street. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid answer like this before? See, he, he was a, not. You have war between uh, them, and he is in your he city, in your town, in your street. All, that's why hmm. he was. We say that he was not at war with all the Christians and the Jews. But he said, he was. See, he, he, was said, he said, he said, he said, he said. If you see, he if he said, if you see the people of the book, he didn't say. If you see this guy. He didn't say if you see Christian prayers. He say if you see the yeah, people of the book, which means the yeah, Jews and the Christians. This, this is actually um, rem, this actually reminds me of mm. Pearl Harbor when mm. uh, the Japanese mm. um, attacked the U.S. Mm. See uh, how did the U.S. respond? By, so you are saying that um, your prophet is an idiot like the American at that time. It, it, it was not idiocy. It, it was. It was a uh, precaution, but, this, See, but, what but they, let those me, people did not do anything. And look, he is not putting, he is not capturing them. He is humiliating them. Listen, listen. He is saying to them, "Don't say peace," which means those people they will say peace to you. So you cannot say peace to them. So he is the Muhammad is the one who is making the situation bad. He said, "Don't say peace to them," which means they cannot give them peace. And now, not only that, you have to hurt them. Okay, let me just finish what I just said. You you interrupted me. Hmm. Um, what the U.S. W did was they uh, put all these Japanese Americans hmm. in one place. Hmm. You know that was that was their strategy. They didn't they they were not at war with those Japanese Americans, hmm. but they were you know being cautious. You know hmm. just in case you know these Japanese Americans became you know traitors. And that's, uh, and what, what uh, Muhammad who is the one who gave was, Muhammad the uh, right? Actually, less who than is that. the one who he gave let, Muhammad the right that he, he, he teaching Muslims to hurt us as a Christians just for walking in the street? We are not doing anything. We are just people walking in the street. As you see, there's yeah, no one. Uh, okay. Hmm. No, okay. Okay. Let, let me talk. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Um, see, what Muhammad commanded us to do hmm. was less. Uh, was less w uh, was not uh, w was less bad um, than what the, uh, the 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 Americans did. See, the Americans uh, the Americans put them in a concentration camp, mm. but the Prophet let them live, roam around uh, Medina and Mecca mm. and wherever they wanted. Why they, he let them? Why he know, let them live? He, he let them live. He let them live is the, if they pay him, right? What they let him live if he if they pay him? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm. So, so your prophet, is a, is a, them, your prophet, your prophet, he don't like the Christians. He hate them, but because they pay him money, he will let them live, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Mm. So your prophet, uh, anyway, so your prophet is a fraud. He's not a prophet because a prophet, either he is doing that for God. You're not letting me explain. You are explaining you're, already. You're you just said. You just said if you pay, you live. If you don't pay, you die. Did you okay. say that? All right. Okay. So what kind of a prophet? He accept me to worship someone beside God just because I paid him, because I bribe him. So so now you're talking about a different topic. No, it's not a different topic. Why, okay, let us say, you, let us say, let us say, know, let us say, let us say I have, topic, let us say somebody, topic. let us say somebody have some garbage in the front of his house and you are the guy who work for the city to be sure the street is a clean. You walk in the front of his house, you see that he have some something wrong. And because he is doing something wrong, you have to give him a ticket. But the guy give you money. That's because he give you money, you say, okay, you can keep it. Practice as you wish. No problem. That is a practice of a fraud. If you're a prophet, was a prophet, he will not accept the Christians to do that because they pay him. Okay, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. So you are saying that the one who take money 
and let people practice wrong, he is not a fraud. What do you mean practice? Uh, I mean, we pay according, taxes. According, too. this is so not taxes. Stop taxes, being stupid. This is not. This is not taxes. This is not taxes. The Quran says you have to humiliate them, and this is part of it. Not only you force them to pay, you have to humiliate them when you see them in the road. You have to spit in their face. Uh, that's not true. That's anyway, not true. Uh, okay, no, don't tell me anyway. Are you insisting this is not humiliating true? them by you know making them pay? N this is not a true. You force them to change their direction from the road. You spit in their face. You are not allowed to elevate the Christians. Yes or no? I'm not allowed to what? Elevate, to honor, to respect. Uh, no, that's not right. I mean, we're commanded to do good with them. Mm, where? In the Quran. Mm, in the Quran. Uh -huh. yeah. So what this Muhammad here is saying to us now? If you see Christians, force them to walk in the sewage. What is that? Muhammad, as you saying to me, Muhammad, he broke the command of Allah? Again, again, mm. that hadith mm. is talking about a specific context. Okay, read for me. Chapter 9, verse 29. Mm. Well, show it to me. Hmm. You want to cough before you start read, or you want to cough later? Uh, I'll cough later. Okay, here we go. Read it. I can't see. Wait, I can't see it. Where? It's in the front of you. Abu Huraib. I, I don't see it. it it's going to take time. So say inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Okay. If you say inshallah, you will see it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, where is it? It's in front of you. Read it. This is chapter 9, verse 29. You're still scrolling. Okay. I, I think you're using the internet of the neighbors. This is why it's so slow. Uh, okay. Fight against those who believe not in Allah, hmm. nor in the last day, nor forbid that which has been forbidden hmm. by Allah and his messenger. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Does it say you have to, uh, they have to feel themselves subdued and humiliated? And yeah, okay. It does. So additional to the payment, paying, addition no additional to the payment, additional to the payment. Let me let me get you busted. Okay, let, let me let me excuse me. Let me get you busted. Is that okay? Can we do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, let us go and see what your scholars they say. Your scholars are not Christian oh, prints, right? Scholars again. Why do you keep going back to scholars? So what I will do? Scholars I will go to who? I will go back. Right. Uh, so the scholars are liars. No, scholars make mistakes. But the scholars are not reporting their own opinion. Here they are reporting for us a story. Here we see Ibn Kathir. He says, because of that. The, Again, uh, you're talking about Ibn Kathir. I'm not talking Jam about Ibn Kathir. Jala, I'm not talking Jala, about Ibn Jala Kathir. Jala I'm not talking about Ibn Kathir. Read carefully with me. I'll put it in the screen. Here we go. This is what the caliphate they did because of Muhammad order. Paying jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. Do you see it in the screen? Now I have to re uh, uh, refresh the, my no YouTube So pay, paying jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. Until they pay the jizya, if they do not choose to embrace Islam and feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated. Do you see it? Therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the dimma, which means the Christian and the Jews, or elevate them above the Muslims, or because for they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. Muslim recorded, that the prophet said don't initiate salam to the jews and the christians and if you meet them in the road force them to the most narrow LA. this is why the leader the faithful omar al khattab he, he did demand the well-known condition by met by the christians those conditions to ensure their humu continue humiliation the de degradation de why you are lying to us it's in front of you why you are lying again you are talking about Tafsir. This is not Tafsir. This is what you Muslim did to us. 
No, it is Tafsir. This it's is the Pact of Omar. This is that. the Pact of Omar. The Pact of Omar. And he's saying to you, Omar, he did that because the Prophet, he insists that we should continue to humiliate them. Yes, by paying the jizya. No, you have to continue humiliation. Additional to the jizya, you have to humiliate them. Look, they have to shave the front of their head. If they want to wear a cross, it have to be many kilograms. They cannot ring the bells of their church. A Muslim can sleep in the house of a Christian for three days, for three nights, for free. Read it. See, where do you get that? It's I in mean, the front of you. You can that's search. Tafsir. This is shut up, you idiot. Where I get those kids from? I mean, it's it's easier to win the lotto before you can win a smart Muslim. Tafsir. What tafsir? This is a book. This is a book talking about the pact of Omar. This is what the Muslim did. And the Muslim, they claim that Omar was the most justice person after the Prophet. We have, uh, we have uh, uh, somebody asking me, he want to know who is the one who left Islam. He's a Shia like you, my friend. He's a Shia. He left Islam like you. And uh, you can play the video later. You can listen to him. Do you see how they lie? Lying is, is their practice every day. This is a book. This is a history. This is what Omar Khattab, he did to the Christians. And now suddenly they don't want Ibn Kathir. And by the way, Ibn Kathir is a fraud, like, like Muhammad, not, nothing better. All the tafsir of Ibn Kathir is meant to defend Islam, not to explain Islam. But this is the whole idea. When the Muslims are weak, they deny their history. But if they are strong, they will say, yes, we will do it to you now. This is the difference between ISIS and Muslim who is not in control. When he is in control, he is the same as Muhammad when he is in control. When he is not, he is the same as Muhammad when he is not in control. When Muhammad is not in control, was nice. He says to the Christians, you go to heaven. Jews, you go to heaven. Sabian, you go to heaven. Everybody go to heaven. But this is when he was weak. After he got strong, he want to kill everybody. That is the truth. Humiliation, disgrace. And read the pact of Omar. Let me post this link for you so all can see how ugly. Actually, I have this in my book if you have deception of Allah. This is the truth. Which they are trying to hide from you. Islam is nothing but a gang. Muhammad is nothing but a thief. You see, if Muhammad is really working for God, he will not accept the Christians to worship wrong God by paying him. What is the return? So we can worship the wrong God. And we can pray to the wrong God as long as we are paying Muhammad. So Muhammad, he have no problem with people worshiping someone other than Allah as long as they pay him. Isn't it clear that he is a fraud? Hmm. Uh, a Muslim saying ISIS is satanic or well, your prophet name for me one thing ISIS did Muhammad did not do. Look what Muhammad Qasim, he said. ISIS is satanic. Okay, name for me one thing ISIS did is not Islamic. Like what? 
<laughs> what a what a what a comedy! Killing people, raping, stealing, forcing jizya, kidnapping, enslaving. They kill innocent people in Islam. Innocent is only Muslims, and not only only Muslims. Muslims who practice Islam. Stop lying, Qasim. You're a prophet. He is number one who kill innocent people, and he raped their women. And as you see, people walking in the street, what they are? They are innocent people. People in the street. If they are in war, they will not walk in your street. People in the street, and yet he is seeking violence against them. That is ISIS. So they try to wash their hands from ISIS, says, oh, ISIS does not present Islam. The fact ISIS are the only true Muslims. And they are the only true one practicing the true Islam. And the rest, they believe that, they knew that ISIS are right, but because they are hypocrites. You see, the Muslim, they play good cop, good cop, bad cop. ISIS, they play the bad cop. <laughs> But both of them they believe in the same thing if two Muslims they sit alone they praise Isis in the front of a Christians and Jews atheists they say Isis is bad we know the game we knew the game yeah my book will be soon out in in the Indonesian language as I said as I promised and it's going to be free for all Indonesian just wait for me my friend too many things to do. Any Abdul? All of them, they are hypocrites. ISIS are hypocrites too. You see, but ISIS are more, let us say, more truthful than the rest. They say, let us say they speak 70% of the true Islam. Even those ISIS, they are hypocrite. As an example, ISIS, they teach their followers that it's okay to dress like a woman in order to do uh, suicide bombing or to put something in your private part inside your, you know, the back door. How you say you are against such an act, but you practice it. They support taking drugs like Taliban Taliban they claim to be they are people who fight for God but they are number one producer for drugs in all of Asia same as Hezbollah they are the party of Allah and the number one money they make after Iran is drugs hashish everybody knows all their farms are drugs they don't grow anything except drugs But they are believers. They are very good believers. Same in Albania. Same in, 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 in Kosovo, the Muslims. All illegal activities. They are, but they are the true believers. Drugs is number one business. All right. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Do we have a good time? Don't forget, please, to download the video and share it with your friends. Uh, maybe tomorrow I will not do broadcast here. Actually, I was planning to go in my other channel. So I might hear and make an announcement if tomorrow I would do so. And we will choose a topic which have nothing to do with religion for those who like to join us. And uh, my other channel is called The Quality of Life. And let me see if I can share the link with you for those who do not know yet um, if we go here <clears throat> I will pause the link for you all 
all right this is the link for those who like to join us subscribe there please and again this channel have nothing to do with religion we speak about things maybe is not your interest maybe it is your interest so if you like to join us we talk about social life things is right to do things is not right to do and we share opinion based in our belief as a Christians so if you like to join feel free uh, no we are not really about choosing uh, uh, gear but uh, we spoke about things which is uh, interesting people hello hello okay. um uh what like uh, what is the topic of your sorry discussing? sorry say what you're saying uh what was the topic that you were discussing earlier like um we, we discussed many things uh, the, um, just on we, we discussed many things including muhammad is a prophet is muhammad a prophet Is Muhammad a prophet? Oh, looks like we lost him. Anyway, guys, this is the other channel. I think we have we have a bad internet. This is the other channel. You can join there and subscribe. Uh, like we spoke about uh, depression. We spoke about how to be confident. As some people advise us wrongly. What make you confident they claim that holding a cigarette in your hand will make you confident so we speak about many things you know about uh, people who uh, believe in buying uh, 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 like a brand and that is supposedly the best to buy and spend their money so we speak about many things and for sure you can choose the topic you like to join with us if it's interesting for you you can be you know with us if not then it's up to you uh, I, I will announce here what time is going to be um uh, and if you like me to speak about a certain topic please let me know but don't forget to or like choosing a life partner uh, you know things which is interesting for us as people uh, other than because here we speak only about religion so i want to give a break for myself and to yourself from speaking about such a madness every day <laughs> you know so we take a break for ourselves so uh, uh, we give opinion on things which can help us to make a better decision. So if you like me to speak about a certain topic, please leave a comment. And if the topic is uh, interesting for the most of us, I will be happy to share it with you. All right? Uh, you know, there is, there is many, many things in life. Like, you know, uh, as an example, you know, uh, somebody, uh, a, a lady, she is sad because she is not getting... Uh, a uh, certain kind of clothing expensive clothing so some people they get depression de depressed because of that you know i say always try to live and learn how to live not how to die when you are a poor person and you spend your day and your life working like a crazy and then you go you spend the money you save which is little to buy a stupid phone or stupid shoes that's mean you are learning how to die not how to live you became a slave of a big rich man who is making, taking your money, sucking your blood. This is what we talk about there. So we give advice for people how really to enjoy their life. Life is not about buying a brand new brand shoes. We can buy a new shoes, but good price. And it's even better than the brand. So people are deceived. And people, they became like uh, customers. You know, we are customers. We are not living this life no more. We are exist just to buy. And every day, companies, they create for us a new occasion. The Mother Day, the Father Day, the Sunday, the Mother-in-Law Day, a Santa Claus Day. I mean, just to buy, not because they believe in those days. And you, because you became a fool, you became a consumer who spend your money for stupidity. So... In this channel, in the other channel, we speak about things and I speak as I believe, not as people like me to, you know, uh, to say. You know me, nothing changed. I give advice of things which I believe is right. You don't have to agree with me. Never agree with me if I'm wrong. Never, you know. But 
I mean, what we see around us is really crazy. People, they have different idea of life today. And this is why they are always unhappy. So quality of life is not a quality of, quality of gadget. Quality of life is you investing in yourself, changing yourself for better. Invest in yourself first. Invest on the human being. And then you will see a quality of life. What is the what is the benefit of a quality of life if you are having the best phone in the market and the best clothes in the in the, in the world? Yet, if you see an old woman crossing the street, you make fun of her, or you are in the bus, you are not willing to stand up and let the women sit down, or see a woman she is carrying a baby and you know she is going to deliver a baby soon, but because you are filthy, you are not willing to stand up and let this woman sit down. So quality of life today is different. They are mixing up between quality of living and quality of life. So for us, we want to learn how to be living a quality of life. Not the quality of living. House and car. We need those things, all of us, including me. But I'm not going to be a better person by buying a new phone. I like to have a new phone. Why not? But that is not the quality. So in that channel, we speak about everything. We'll be in touch in our human social life. Trying to make things better. So if you like to subscribe, again, this is the verse for the free. And if you don't like our topic, then it's up to you. I want to say thank you for... for uh, uh, you know, for, for being here. And uh, uh, I think tomorrow I will look at the comments and see what topic we will talk about in the other channel. And based on that, we will choose the best. Uh, let us say, uh, uh, from your comments, we will see what is the most interesting request I receive. So if you have a, if you have a request to talk about a certain topic, go to that channel, uh, post uh, a comment, uh, as an example, you can watch the video about how to be confident. I saw a video which is very, have a lot of viewers. Amazingly how sad it is. Trying to fool you, saying, if you hold a cigarette like this, that's mean you are confident. Madness. Madness and stupidity is what leading us today. My friend, when people, they smoke a cigarette, that's because they are not confident, actually. It's the opposite. It means there's something missing in your life. When you smoke, when you take a drugs, when you do th those th those things, you know it's wrong. So how that will make you confident? Confident about what? Since when doing wrong will make me confident? Why people don't want to use their brain? So I advise you, if you did not go to that channel yet, start with this video here. Let us say, let us agree, if you want to post a comment, post it in this video, because it's a very interesting video. And we will see, I will see later, based on the comment, what topic we will speak about tomorrow. All right, but uh, remember, remember one thing, you know, uh, he, the Messiah, he said, the Sabbath was made for the man, not the man made for the Sabbath, which means even God, who is our creator, he made the Sabbath for us, it's for us. We are not made for the Sabbath. Today, we are made for material. We are not living anymore. We work like crazy just to buy things, things we do not even need. Even people today, they eat, but they, they are not hungry. Just because they are watching a commercial, which is meant to make you go to the fridge and eat their food. This is why people, they get bigger and bigger and bigger, because we don't have control. They are controlling our mind, controlling our stomach, controlling our emotion, controlling our wallet. 
then this is what happened when you are away from the Lord. Don't let them control you. Never. Never. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you soon with my other channel, we will take a break from this one maybe for two days. And tomorrow I will be in the other channel or maybe even tonight. I'm not sure. I will not make an announcement about it. And I will see you soon. With this, I say may the Lord bless you. We are happy for our brother Ali who accepted the Messiah and he became a Christian today. Happy to see you, my friend. Happy to hear you. And the Lord himself is happy to have you as a child of God. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Thank you.